Hi, Zap. Hi. Uh, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing better. Doing better. I will. Uh, I woke up pretty good today, uh, and today has been a consistent all right. And you know what? That's pretty good in comparison to the consistent not all right that I've had in the past. That's good. So, so I'll take it. Uh, I am dreading the day that comes in four days. But we'll see what happens when we get there. So... Uh, TikTok, I guess. Uh, are, who, are, are you two player? Are you player two or am I player two? Who's player two? So I choose player one. Make sure your team member is player two. So you, I'm player two? Yes, yeah, so you choose player two. Yes. I'm assuming yeah. this. I'm a ding dong. I'm what? going back to the main menu. I clicked player two, and then it says, and then it said, so you are player two, and I clicked player two, and then it switched to player one. Oh. And then I clicked go. Or maybe it didn't, and I just saw player one out of the corner of my eye. Anyways, player two. How's, what, what's your thing look like? Same thing, but I'm player one. Okay. So. Well, well so I got some text on my screen. Uh, do we get the same story? Thanks. Did you receive a package? So hold up. Okay. So what's after your text? Uh, dear player two, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. This clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I'd miss her. Uh, I've also got a note that says it seems to be half of a letter and I'm going to assume that you have another half. Oh, I can drag the screen. Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, newspaper, another disappearance, strike. Uh, strikes are village. Okay. I, I have the second half. Mm-hmm. Got a stopwatch here. Yeah, I do too. I can fiddle with it. Uh, I can twist the knob at the top. I can close Thanks. it again if I really want to. Uh, and I can sp spin the shit. Um, what's the time? Uh, I think time? if we go all the way, but I have a clock, or it's not really a clock. It really just says the date. Twelve seventeen, which is today, twenty twenty. Our package mm -hmm. is from Denmark. Um, there is a date on the paper: Tuesday, March fourteenth, nineteen thirty-seven. Yeah, I don't see that. That's you. Uh huh. You have you have one half of the note, and I have the other half. Yeah, my my note doesn't have any like dates or times. It's just text. Well, how about you read me your half of the note? Uh, oh, wait. The youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Lurk, was reported missing yesterday. Her sister, Amelie, told us she had last seen her at 10.30. Okay. Understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. If you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. So what's the time? 10.30, an hour and a half later. So, noon. Okay. Oh, there it is. I twisted the thing at the top. Oh, yeah. That worked for me. Chapter well, 1. It this is a copy I made of the world that Lark and I used to know. 2020. <laughs> Lark went missing, but it all started years before. 2020.
1927. Okay. We get we get to scroll around. All right. So I'm at like a halfway. I'm like at a bus station. I was at halfway yeah. house, but that's not what this is. Yes. And there's a little like monitor with a train on it. Yeah, and I can go. Ooh. I can go take a look at other different places by scrolling to the left and the right. I can move where the train is by pressing like up, down, and left. Oh yeah. Except we don't have a. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we don't have a right button. So we can assume that this is part of a different puzzle. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go left. Should we say like what we're doing? Um. I think so. Okay. Um. I'm gonna check out the well. Fuck it. Not really much we can do. I'm going down a ladder. Oh, I found a switch with a bunch of symbols on them. Same. Got a lever on the right. Okay, I tried matching the top row symbols to the bottom row, and that didn't do it, so I'm going out of here. Be a nerd. So I kind of get what this is now. We both have a single player game. It's just some of the you pieces. Have one ha you have one half, I have the other half. Uh, the clock store has hours from three to nine. That's its opening mm -hmm. hours. So it seems to me almost like we're trying to unlock a clock to diddle with the time. I went inside a house. Oh, okay, so I have words. I think you have another set of words. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the house. Turn on the light. I have a Jack in the Box toy. You have a Jack in the Box? Yeah, I'm gonna give her a wind and see what happens. I have a train. Oh, there are the, there are the words. text here okay what do you um have? did anything happen mm, i don't think so with your jack-in-the-box no do you have like a little thing to wind i have a thing to wind and it and whenever i wind it it pushes up this like okay. it pushes up like a switch on it and but winding okay. just winding it doesn't do anything i gotta do something extra right. um so I, I have some text revealed lark i hope you like your present Turn it anti-clockwise three times, clockwise twice, anti-clockwise twice, then keep turning it clockwise and don't let go. Okay, so uh, anti-clockwise twice? First is anti-clockwise three times. Okay, two. Right, clockwise times. twice. Clockwise twice once, twice. Anti-twice. One. And then keep Two. turning it clockwise. Okay, uh, clown, cool. I, he gave me a half of a ticket that looks like it belongs to the train. Okay. Uh, it's like so. It's it, it's like a ticket, but it's a grid, and the grid looks kind of like the one with the train on it. Okay. So, let's go back to the train. Well, we still need to find a right button, right? I guess. So, where can such a thing be found? A lot of things in this game will make noise when you click on them, and I kind of love it. Oh, actually, I have an idea. I think I think we made a boo-boo. Uh, let's go back to the wells app. 
I have an idea. Okay, so I'm going to go on a limb and say that we have to put in the same thing here, but I'm also going to go out on a limb and say that the top middle one for you is locked, and the on the bottom, the one on the left and the right is locked, right? Yes. Okay. Tell me what the one at the bottom left look, says. Bottom left, it's a... A right. white square. White square. Top. Top left. Top. Top middle. Oh, top middle. It's a white circle. White circle. Bottom right. Black circle. Black circle. Top left is black triangle. Okay. Bottom middle is white square. Mm-hmm. Top right is white triangle. Okay. All right, yeah, they yep. didn't. There's our bouton. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get the hell out of dodge. So now we've got our bouton. All right. Now where does train go? So I have half of a ticket. Let me go take a look at that ticket. I don't have the other half. It says go up two squares, go right three squares, and then down two squares. One more time. Up two, right three, down two. Okay. Um... And and then it and then it juts off to the right, but I don't know how much. So uh, we're we're gonna need to find your half of the of the ticket. Is what I'm guessing. You got it from the house, but I don't have a house. Yeah, the house had a jack in the box like wind up thing. I just have a train, a little toy train, but nothing. You I wound it up, the and train? then I got, I wound it up, and then I got the text to tell you like how to turn the. Dragon Buck. Gotcha. Hmm. Hmm. What are your opening hours? Three to nine? Yes. You don't think we have to wait for 3 o'clock, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. That would be kind of a silly blockade. That's weird. If you, like, move the screen, the hand moves on the clock. It does. It's weird. So that means we need to make it 3 o'clock. Oh... I can't Holy shit. You, I can't believe you fucking noticed that. How dare you? Yeah, the clock store is open. Wow! <laughs> yes! Uh -huh. <laughs> I love this game. I have, uh... Oh, wow. A radio? Yeah, I have a radio. With text. Okay, what's your radio saying? Um... I have different text depending on... Uh, like what channel it's on okay um i'm in between 820 and 1115 in between okay um the rom the raved raven yeah sure Whatever. the raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night to be able to open their clock shop today the 18th then at uh, one 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 five, like a little bit past it. What? For me, there's a message a little pat, a little bit past one thousand one hundred fifteen. Oh. Um. Another pet has been stolen during the night. 
This time it was Mrs. This Jensen's. Sweet old farm dog. Remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. And then I got one below 1410. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves off lifeline, lifeless. Uh, birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. And there's one more. Yes. There's two more. Okay. Um, no more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... And the construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. One more. Like right before 705. Right. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Okay. Oh, there's also one near the start, actually. We uh, missed out on that. Uh, Colin's here. Colin says, just finished running a game. Forgot I had the stream running. Well, hi there. I'm glad you gave me and viewer for like three days. If you scroll all the way up, there's a calendar. They can change the month and week, day of the week. Yeah. Wasn't there a month in this message? Or like a date? Um, there was a end of the month. Um... Okay. Uh, I guess we'll have to go through them again and see. I think it'd be like, I figure it'd be March or something, right? Let's see. Uh, let me look through my messages again. <laughs> to be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. 18th. It's now March. Um, March 18th. Try that. Is that a Wednesday? Oh. There we go. Yep. Okay. I got the other half. Nice. Okay. I can't take it though. Yeah, you can't take it. Uh, so after we hit the floor of the the train grid, where do we go? Um, we go up three, right two, up one, right one. Uh, up three, right two. Up one, right one. Up one, right one. Okay, cool. My train like clicked and I hear a train coming in. I got the train already. Coming. I can't believe I noticed that. Nice. Chapter two. I told. <laughs> okay, uh, fine. Fine. I gotta remember like what your half was. You shouldn't have to remember what my half was because you should have already punched it in. I reset it. Why did you reset it? Uh huh. Because I moved on and now I don't have access to my other half. Hold up. Holding up. I think I remember. Because it was kind of simple. I think it was up two, right three, down two. Yeah, that's what I did. Um, and then one to the right. Then I did up three. Right? I mean, you can just go and check again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Chapter 2. I told Larrick I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. <laughs> Now in the 
future. Can we still fiddle with this train? No, we can. No. Yeah. Uh, but it's closed. Yeah. The clock still moves. The clock still moves the same way. So it looks like we're looking for another track. Alright, I'm gonna go inside uh, Grandma's house. Okay, I'll head there too. It's the basement. I've got a couple bells. In Grandma's house? Yeah. I have a note that says, I left you something downstairs. It'll be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody, and I'll open the door. Uh, Amelie. Ooh. I just filled oil. Uh, there's a building with a trumpet on it. There's a lizard. So I... There's a lot of text I'm uncovering right now. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. I've been working on this iteration. 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 Ah. <laughs> I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after. Look after it really well like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Wait a second. Dinner table, huh? Can you read that one more time? I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did with those two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Okay, gotcha. I mailed a letter, and I got a note that says, Post Box Number 28, Northwest, West, Southwest, East. South by Southwest. Hi, Lob. Oh, yeah. I, I looked down, and I read the message, and I never said hi, Lob. Hi, Lob. So it looks like I'm done here. I'm going to go in the music store. The horn store? I found another beetle. Yeah, I got a beetle too. Um, these vaults? 14, 16... Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, I have to turn dials on every single one of them? No! Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. Uh, what do those dials look like? Um, it's like a star, like there's four hands. One going up, down, left, and right, like a compass. Like a compass. Can you... And you said you have four of them? Um, three, six, nine, twelve. You have a few more than four. I didn't say four. Right. I, I didn't say I had four volts. I, yeah, I said you had a few more than four. Okay. Okay. Because I, I do have compass rows directions, but I only have four of them. Is there a number? Uh, I mean, the first one is northwest. Because each one of these, like, vaults or something has a number. Okay. So one says 14, one says 16, 18, 24, 28. Uh, there is a post box number 28. Okay. And for post box number 28, it says northwest, west, southwest, east. Northwest, west, west, southwest, and then east. Yes, got it. Cool. I got a letter from Amelie Raven. 
Oh, yeah. It's got a key in it, right? Yes. I mailed that to you. <laughs> Here's your key to the clock shop, Emily. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven? Well, help me look for it. Okay. Okay. So presumably you can get in the shop now. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got a bird. With a clock. And, and open the clock. I can tinker with. Okay. I, I, I can't zoom out. I'm forever on this clock. Uh, hmm. okay, I guess I'm on the clock now. There are these marbles that I can move, different colors. <sighs> Shut up, bird. <laughs> Shut I up. Need... No, stop! Stop. Don't do that. <laughs> well, let me look at my material again, because I don't think I have a time that you can enter. Call bitch. Stuck on Clock Town. I can I can leave, go to like another area. I can like view whatever's left in this in this part of the area. The it's only other the only other thing of note I have is a picture of the back of a girl's head, presumably, and she's got the white raven on her left shoulder, and the white raven is facing to the left. I don't know if that's I think, important. Yeah, I think this is the white raven. <laughs> this bird that's like calling up a storm. He keeps tapping my clock I'm tinkering with. <laughs> with, with his beak. Just... Call bitch. Stop. Again, on this clock, I, I can like... I can turn gears and move these four marbles. Mm. One's a green color, one's red, one's clear, one's brown. And it has like the it's on this like fan shape. Mm. I do not know. Cuz all I've got is so in my grandma's house, I'm going to presume that you're calling this grandma's house. In my grandma's house, I have a set of bells, and the bells have names associated with them. Kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, dining hall. A note says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Please play our secret melody, and I'll open the door from Amelie. If I try to open the door that's right there, then all the bells make a sad noise. But I can ding the bells. Um, I have a key in my inventory. Uh, if I go to the, the trumpet place, the post mm -hmm. office... There's the place where I mailed you the thing with the instructions on how you can get it back. And you did do that. Um, if I leave that and then go into the clock into the clock room, I have a lamp, uh, a plant, a box labeled lark, a clock, a clock. <sighs> Probably should have started with that one, huh? Um, the... <laughs> The minute hand is pointing towards nine, and the hour hand is pointing towards four. Hold up. Well, it's like almost at four. So it's like 3.45.
not really helping much. I mean, you have a clock you can fiddle with, right? Yeah, but it's, it's the back of the clock. Mm. Um, I can't close it, right? Hmm. I'm not, um, back to Grandma's house, there is some, something else I can tinker with. I can, like, move these pots and, like, jars, like, different okay. areas. I don't know if that's, that does anything. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing it. I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I might have figured mm. something out. Okay, so what I did was I moved my clock past opening hours, and I was able to use my key to get in. Now I have a book with a with a couple marvels in it. Okay. Labeled uh, gemstones, and okay. a uh, a book labeled horology, measuring time. Oh, okay. Who, baby? So, what arrangement are the uh, marbles in? So it's uh, it so it's just a book about what each thing, like, sort of represents. Uh -huh. So, like, so like uh, I have a clear one, and it says quartz is commonly used in the making of clocks due to its ability to channel energy. Uh, like ruby is a is a hard and durable gemstone that can ease friction in mechanical instruments. Um. So. So, but if I let, let's put this down for a second, and I'm gonna open the horology book, and it, it gives me a fan uh, that I'm pretty sure is the thing that you're looking at. It says, through multiple studies, Miss Shar figured out that a timepiece would be more precise when using only quartz and the channeling plate. And the next bit says, I think this sequence will be more accurate with the additional benefit of storing time. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. The next page says, Balance. For highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. Uh, an asterisk says, Point it towards the malachite. Stores time better. And then it says, When everything is set for optimal accuracy... Uh, wind the clock by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Once the lid has closed, te test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. Okay. So. So you I have four places yeah. you can put marbles? Five. Five. So there's one at the bottom. Yes. Um, can you put more quartz in, which is the clear one? Um, yeah, I have the clear one at the bottom. Okay. Tiger's eye, I assume that's brown. Uh, yep. I have it all the way on the left. Malachite, I believe that's green. Yep. I have it next to it. Then I have an empty space, then I have the ruby. Okay. And you have nothing else? That's it, yeah. Okay. So you only have four marbles, basically. It sounds mm -hmm. to me like you might be missing one. Um, mentions Tiger's Eye, Quartz, Malachite, and Ruby. Um, Is that four things? Five. That's... Yeah, that's four things, but, I mean, presumably something needs to be in the fifth spot. But I'll read you this out again. Um, well, the only way I can move stuff around is if there's an empty spot. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, it says, like, it's like it's that kind of puzzle. I need to move one thing to, like, move something else to, the, to that right, spot. Right, gotcha. It says, the tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. Uh, the malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. 
the ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay. Oh. So the... I assume the course is a clear one, right? Yes. All right. It has to be to the... So tiger's eye has to be to the... Left right? of the quartz. To the left of the quartz. The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. And the ruby cannot be directly next to the tiger's eye. I uh, feel like this is it. Um, and, and if you think you've got it, it says... Point the, balance, the balancing needle. Towards... It says the third quartz, but it says point it towards the malachite instead. Okay. And, and then, then spin the top gear clockwise twice. The top right gear clockwise twice, yes. Yes, I did that. Well, then, <laughs> then uh, something has gone horribly wrong. I'll, I'll read you the sequence again. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Puzzled. Hmm. Well, you have all the things. Um, um, you have all the stuff in the the wider part of the fan, right? The what? So I have a diagram here that shows four spots near the top, and one spot near the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have anything in that bottom spot, right? Oh, I do. I thought something had to be there. I don't think so. I think that's supposed to be the empty spot. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty it sure. Works. It works you're, now. you're a fucking ding dong. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Did the lid close? Yes. Set the clock to 12. Done. It says this should initiate the extraction process. Yep. Seeing Doctor Strange. Okay. And now my white raven's gone. Now the clock's just moving on its own. Um, but I can also look at the other stuff that's in this room. I have a degree of apprenticeship. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Zeb. I know. I have a book called uh, Extracting Time and Creating Automatons. Automatons? Aut <laughs> <sighs> now I understand why you think I use big words. It's because you can't read. <laughs> Well, Zap, I gotta say, I am doubly proud of you for having that certificate of apprenticeship, considering your illiteracy. <laughs> what else do you got for me? He's <laughs> dead. That's it. Okay, so your your bird's gone. Yeah, my bird's gone. Rip bird. Rip bird. Um, but my degree, dear Amelie, I am pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as my new apprentice. Oh boy. Your experiment, your experiments with 
time extractions are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I am looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. Switzerland. Yours sincerely. Clars of Scar. <laughs> Master Watchmaker. Master Watchmaker. Hmm. It does seem like my clock is doing like a um code of some sorts. Okay. Does it have like tones? No tones. Okay. I'm gonna wait till it spins around. I assume that's resetting. It does three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. Spin around, reset. Hmm. Just three, a lot of threes and sixes. Yeah. I do have, I do need a code, but um, my code seems to pertain mostly to um, to rooms in a house. Um, but I'll try your thing again in a second. Uh, I'll try it again. Give me your code one more time. Oh, what up? Three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. That's it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing it. Hmm. What about like left down, left down? Does, does that do anything? Um, hmm. Don't you mean right down? Yeah, right down. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm, no. They're, they're just arranged on a line. Hmm. Uh, but if there's no tones, then... Hmm. Is there anything else in the safe we can use? Any other, like, safe codes? Um... Let me double check my post office. A couple rolls of paper here. Post thing that I can tap on. Just the 28 code again, a map, some packages, but I can't grab them. Gotta do, it's gotta be something to do with. Gotta do something with Amelie and something she's telling somebody else. Can you look at the clock at the time? Like, can you make the clock outside be the same as the as the clock you're looking at or something? Because um. I had... Because one of my puzzles involved me going inside the clock. Um, the clock house, like, during its normal operating hours, and then going in there now after I got the key during its non-operating hours, for example. Oh, no, I don't think so.
try those, I guess. You, um, do you know anything about those jars that you were moving around earlier? No. I was just, I'm, I was just assuming that they're for decoration. Well, if you can scoot them around instead of just tapping on them, I'm sure they're for something. Yeah. There's two big jars, a medium-sized jar, and then a pot lid. Um... Can you put the lid on the jars? Jars have lids already. Okay. Uh... The lid I can move is like a... Lid of a... Pot from a pot of plants. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing new here. I get fucking vertigo from spinning this camera around. <laughs> to me something. Hmm. We haven't heard any any talk about any rooms, right? I think so. Uh good. Secret melody. Greatest invention. How many? Six. I need to send a message. Eight total of the right down, right down. Might be for the train. Oh, huh, maybe. Let's keep it keeps saying down, but I can't go down on the train. Can we? Anything else we're missing? Can we like scroll in any of these rooms? Scroll here. 
Can't scroll out here. I scrolled by the clock. Just feel like we're missing something. You completed this like sitting sitting by the dinner table, right? Sitting by the dinner table? Yeah, the like words I read to you. Uh, give it to me again. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Clark. Look after it really well, like you did with two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I will be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Is there a pantry? So I've got I've got six bells. One says kitchen, one says front door, one says study, one says music room, one says office, one says dining hall. And I think And I'm starting to wonder if two kittens five years is part of it. Because hmm. you haven't done anything with those bells, have you? No, not yet. And this has been here since the start. Ah. So, read it again. One sec. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. In the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Clark. Look after it like you looked after those toucans you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Study, pantry, dinner table. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. It was it was one ring of study, two rings of kitchen, five rings of dining hall. Okay. Oh, and now I can scroll down. Oh, look at that. I've got a clock. Okay. <clears throat> and now my clock is giving instructions too. Up, right, up, 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 right, down. Okay. Um, let's start with yours since you're player one, right? I am, but again, I go right three times and then down. Okay, so let's start with mine then. Yeah. Uh, so go to your train? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> What's yours? Up. Right. Up. 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 Right. Down. That's it? That's it. Okay. Uh, now hold hold at the train so you can relate to me what I just told you. Okay. Okay, what you got? Up. Right. Up. 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 Right. Down. Okay. So you should be in the third column in the third square. Yeah. Okay. All right. Going to my clock. Yep. Right, 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 down, right, down, down, right. Okay. Uh, my train is here, and this time I won't leave without you. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. Right three times, down once, right once, down twice, right once. Nice. Bottom right corner. We out of here? Yep. All right. Out of here. I knew Lark wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give him a way out. 
It was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now that I had to learn how to do the same with people. Suck time. For money. Suck time for money. At least he does it for money. I'm in a mansion? Yeah, I see the front of a mansion with a couple light bulbs in front of it. I can Another the house. Bulb. Another music store. And Raymond's clock. Looks like we're done with the bus station. Rip. I'm gonna go in Raymond's clocks. Okay. Uh, I'll do the same. Uh, it's dark. I'm going down to a generator with symbols. I have a ladder, a gear, Powerpuff Girl, Block Symbol, Raven, Butterfly, Santa Time, Snake, and Wolf. Okay, if I turn the generator on, shit gets wild. Yeah, I turned it on and countdown, and it's telling me to hit. Ah! So something tells me we both have to hit this at the same time. Yes, so. Okay, I think I get it. Um, okay, turn it on. Turn it on. Two, one. I have a. Uh, hit, hit crow. crow. Hit snake. One? One? Wait, what's one? Um... Maybe one on the clock position? No, that doesn't make okay. any sense. Huh. One? Um, do it again. Okay, turn it on. Yes. One. Crow. Uh, crow? Snake. Four. Turn on. Turning on. Pro. Snake. Seven. Fuck it. Let's just keep hacking okay. at it. Turn on. So it's crow Bro. snake. Eight. What the hell does a number mean? Maybe maybe know. we are missing something from it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go. This is the first place we've been to, after all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's, I'm going to go to music store. Yeah. I think that's the post office. Okay, now oh, I'm the oh, one with I the have boxes. A, I have a Morse code. Oh, God. Uh, you have music boxes? No, I, I have P.O. boxes. P.O. boxes. Uh, like the one you opened. Uh, and a note that says, I'm so excited to restore the clock shop with you, Lark. Soon we are going to be a proper family again. Meet me in the basement of the shop. Um, okay. So now I went to the house. Now I have a telephone. Okay, I'll go to the house. Um, I have one, two, three, four, star, pound sign, and zero. Uh, each I've and eight. Yeah. And each... Like key, if I hit one, it it brings me a shows me a message. If I hit two, that shows me a message. But they seem to be like out of order. I need to put them in the right order. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I've got the same deal. So, um, I'm gonna start with five. You have five. Yeah, I have five, six, seven, plus eight, tilde nine. Okay. Um, five says, er, yeah, I'll start. I'll start. Five says, 
angry, but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to. Six says, mad at me when I arrived. Seven says, decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. Plus says, to visit. There is now a dark tower. Eight says, it's upstairs, and it's even better. This one cannot die. The tilde says, there? You know your raven that went missing. The one... And then nine says, you company. I would have told you. Mm. Do you have anything that sounds like the start? Yes. Oh, okay. Two. Uh, hey, Lark. I'm so glad you finally... Uh, so glad you finally... Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna break out the pen and pencil for this one. <laughs> uh, fuck it, I'll use the back of this character sheet. So, what was your first one? Two. Two. I'm gonna assume that the second one for me is seven. Okay. So, hey, Lark. Blah 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 decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. Then we need something that sounds like I've like been leaving, leaving messages maybe? Um at, at the star I have so it goes Yeah, you I've been leaving you so many messages. Wait, I know you're still uh, angry. I'm angry, but don't hang up on me yet. Uh I really want you to Want you to know, four, okay. know that before I left, I made you something to keep. Made you something to keep. Something to keep. to keep you company. I would have told you. Uh, that's nine. I would have told you... That's it? Yes. I would have told you... Let's do three. Right. Earlier. I would have told you earlier, but you... Never mind. Are you still... You still... You still so there? I think that's what it is. Are you still there? You know your raven that went missing. The one? The one you named Cole. Uh, zero. The one you named Cole? I made a new one for you, comma. Made a new one for you, comma. It's, it's upstairs, and it's even better. This one cannot die. So your code should be two star four three zero if we've got it right. Mine should yep. be seven five nine tilde eight. Cool. Nice. Uh which character sheet did I use for this? I used <laughs> um Oh, what the fuck is this guy's name? Let's find out what this guy's name is. What? Lafcadio Comstock. You good? Yeah, I just, I don't know, I was curious. <laughs> I, I used Lafcadio's character sheet. <laughs> Thanks, All bud. Right. Uh, we went upstairs. Uh, Clockwork Raven. Yep. I now I have sheets of paper that they like say, like, oh, this is how. You put together a mechanical bird. And the one in the middle has a clock like on it. Like 12 at the top, 6 bottom, 3, 9. Okay. I've okay. got a raven in a cage. And 
Like an actual rifle? Well, it's like a mechanical one. Okay. Um, but the but it needs a combination. On my little sheet with like the clock, twelve six nine three, in the center of the clock, on the right is a raven head, and on the left is actually the Morse code thing. Okay. Is your raven making a noise? No. Say, let's go to a different spot. Four. Um, what was in your music store? Uh, PO boxes, like the one oh, that you had. Boxes. All right. I have a music store. I don't have PO boxes. I'm pretty sure it's a post office. Well, why is there a trumpet at the at the front? I don't know. Because the people in there are horny. <laughs> wow, that was not supposed to be funny. code device goes up to like 10 like digits oh god I don't know wait a second your Morse code device uh... oh I can hold it down hold it down oh what does that do it makes it a long press <laughs> oh so wait you need Morse code Yes, I need like some sort of code. Like I can do a long press, and a press, short press, press, long press, long press. I need like uh, a combination of those. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I thought a thing was giving you Morse code, not you had. A, okay. You had like a telegram, tappy tap thing. Yes. Okay. It's a long. Half an apron. And half an apron. to like the main scroll screen outside okay. go outside <laughs> go to the main scroll screen outside go outside okay <laughs> what do you need okay so do you have the gate in front I, of the mansion i do does it have like little like notches uh so i have little i have little sets of three yes yeah do you have light bulbs hanging I, down i do click them yes well, I've clicked all of them. Does it light them up? It does. Alright. What does this do? 
<laughs> I don't know. I've lit all of them up. Oh, you lit them all of them up. Let me light, light them all up. And nothing happened is the point. Well, let me light them all up. <laughs> My fucking... Uh, criminy Jim Jim, dude. Maybe some are supposed to stay off. One, two, three, eight. Hmm. Uh. That, has to, that has to mean something. We still have that, like, machine generator to fiddle yeah. with. I just don't know what the numbers mean. Um, and you keep getting a different number for that, right? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. And it's something that I have to do, apparently, I guess, because it's my turn. What if it's not a... Hmm. Hey, Zap. Yes? What if it's not a clock? What if it's a numpad? What if it's not a clock? What if it's not a clock? What if it's a numpad? What, what is not a clock? The symbols on the generator. Whenever you got, like, six or three or oh. something like that. What if it's a numpad and not a clock? Okay. Oh, I didn't know you can, like, Scroll up and down with the scroll wheel. Oh, that's nice. You don't have to drag. So what do you think? Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. Okay. Ready? Go. On. Pro. Bird. Snake. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it worked. What did you hit on seven? Oh, bird. Butterfly. 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 Okay. So, <laughs> so, so we're right. It's a numpad, right? Okay, yes it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. So bird, snake, butterfly, then. We gotta figure out what it is. Alright, All ready? Right. On. Go. Bird. It's bird, snake, butterfly. I know you have to say it. I hate. Then lock. Or butterfly. Uh, butterfly. What? Off. Lock after <clears throat> butterfly. Hold, uh, hold up. Off. Off. <sighs> bird, snake, butterfly, lock. Gotta say in order. You want to start from the beginning every time? Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> On. On. Crow. Snake. Not. Butterfly. Lock. <laughs> what? Uh. What? Hourglass. <sighs> Hourglass? Okay, fine. Yes. <laughs> what is the problem? <laughs> it's it said butterfly minus one. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm gonna break out the character sheet again. <laughs> it's gonna be different every time. No, it's not. The numbers <sighs> the numbers are different, but the symbols we're pressing is the same. No, they're not. Yes they are. Not for me. Not for you? They change. Are you sure it's not bird, snake, butterfly, lock every single time? Yes, but the position of the symbols, they change. The position doesn't matter if it's the same symbol every time, Zeb. Yeah, but if it's seven, seven will be different. Zeb, clearly, it gives you the number of where the symbol is. Like, it cares exclusively about the symbol. Like, this is uh, very okay. clearly a combination, and shit just moves around to make it more confusing every time you do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Off uh, to you. <laughs> Butterfly minus one? Bird. That threw me off so much. Snake. Lock. Um, hourglass? Was that what yes. it was? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> butterfly minus one. Butterfly minus one? So so you had to like go to six on the number pad, or you gotta go to butterfly, so like 
And so, like, what? So, like, butterfly was like nine, so minus one, eight. I did like think that. Gotcha. Okay. Um, we're gonna probably have to do this a couple more times, and then we'll be good. So yeah. So punching bird snake I mean, lock, uh, bird snake lock hourglass, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Count on. Oh, okay. Bird, bird snake. snake. It's not butterfly. Oh, it's bird snake butterfly lock. Hourglass. Fuck. Wait. Off. <sighs> <laughs> okay, Bird, yeah. Bird snake butterfly lock hourglass. You I'm turn on? Turning on. I go. Bird snake Bird, butterfly snake, lock. Butterfly lock. Hourglass. Hourglass. Uh, mine says five down right, so gear. Okay. Se seven, uh, ladder. Uh, ladder. Puppet, it says. Oh, yes. The doll. Uh, six up, uh, butterfly. Butterfly. Uh, gear minus three. Um, uh, <laughs> hourglass? I don't well, know. So, well, so, so, so for me, gear was three. So gear minus, minus so gear minus, ooh. so three minus three was um, hourglass, maybe? Oh. Um, I'll, I'll 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 put an hour glass question mark below where it's supposed to go. Oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna yell at you what we need to push in order until we get to the doll. Okay. Okay. You ready? Three, All two, right. one, on. Bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, gear. Doll. That didn't work. <laughs> hmm. We'll do it again. Okay. Uh, Go up, before doll. Yeah, up to before doll. I'll, I'll mark right. with an arrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Bird. Snake. Lo uh, butterfly. Lock. Hourglass. Gear. Ladder. Ladder. Then doll. Ladder. Doll, then doll. doll. Yeah. Okay, I've got ladder marked in. That's fine. Butterfly. Uh, hourglass. Nope. Nope? Okay. Nope. So, it, so, so hourglass was wrong. So it's after doll is butterfly? Yes. Okay. We're getting there. We'll get there. Ready. Give me a sec. Writing it down. All right. I'll call it out to you again. Three, two, one. Bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, gear, ladder, doll, butterfly. Uh, then butterfly again. No, that's not right. <laughs> It gave me, it said one, and I pressed what was in the one position. I guess we'll try again. All right. Three, two, one, go. Bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, gear, doll, ladder, doll, butterfly. Now it says four, which for me is... Oh, wait, it's four for you. Right? No. No? Nope. I hit uh, hourglasses in the four position. No. Okay. So then it must have been four, which is snake for me? I forget. I, I like, n now that we've started writing this down. Also, oh. Uh, <laughs> also, hi, Dakota. How's it going? We're trying to cat crack this case. Um, so it said four. And I forget if the person it displays f no, oh that's right our games are completely separate and they're not connected by internet or something so why the fuck would it tell me for and then you would have to push it in I'm a ding dong <laughs> okay so four was snake at the time I'm gonna write down snake and we'll see if it works okay 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 three two one on bird snake lock I, that's wrong <laughs> butterfly. Butterfly. There's there's a butterfly oh. in there. Bird. <laughs> Snake. Butterfly. Lock. 
hourglass, gear, uh, ladder, doll, butterfly. Wait, turn just turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Yeah. So Cause I had because I had to reset. I didn't know you were. I, I didn't know you kept going. So I got I got hourglass plus three, which should have been uh, which should have been butterfly. I don't understand what is what is wrong here. Huh. This is dragon. Dragon. All right. I'm going to scratch out the last snake, because that's incorrect. Okay, three, two, one. Bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, gear, ladder, doll, butterfly, Gear plus one, which should be snake. Snake. Howl okay. wolf. Wolf? Yeah, wolf. Okay. Snake, I'll write in snake, and then wolf. Okay. Alright. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Bird. Snake. Butterfly, block, hourglass, gear, uh, ladder, doll, butterfly, snake, wolf, hourglass plus one, uh, doll. I don't know what the fuck. What is nine plus one supposed to be? Hello? <laughs> maybe, maybe it just goes back to one. That's that's what doll was. Doll was one. Oh, I had doll. That was wrong. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, I should have said plus one. I'm fairly certain, unless unless I like unless I glanced over at it and it was actually the keyhole instead of the hourglass. If it was keyhole plus one. It would have been snake. Well, I'll I'll ha I'll have a look at it again when we get there. Okay. I, I am I, this time it is me who is fucking the puzzle. <laughs> um all right. Three, two, one. Bird, snake, butterfly, fuck, hourglass, here. What uh is it the wrong one? Fuck. <laughs> I'll I'll keep going. Ladder, doll, butterfly, snake, wolf. Eight? Left of eight? Uh, oh, but that's not right. It was to the left of eight. I don't understand. Left of eight. Huh. Are we wrong? Is it not a numpad? I think we're right. Huh. If it's what not a, if it's not a numpad, then it's the bird. And I'm pretty sure okay. Okay. So I think what game? This is TikTok a Tale for two. I was like, what a word is that? Is that even English? Um so the 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 rundown of what it is is it's a two player game. We both have like completely separate puzzles that need each other to be solved. Um, but instead of making it like an online co-op experience, um, they've made them like two separate offline experiences that need each other to be solved, uh, which is actually kind of interesting. I like it. Um, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say that bird is the next step and assume that the top left is one, the top right is three, the bottom left is seven, and the bottom right is nine. And I think we've had it wrong this whole time. Wait, what? So I don't think it's a numpad. I think the top left. So I think the top left symbol is one. The top middle symbol. That's what I've been doing. 
I thought it was a numpad. Like top left was seven. That's what a numpad is. No, it's not. On the numpads are different, like depending on what it's on. I, that's what I've been going by. What? I'll yeah, look what kind of the top left? That's that's what, what I've been doing. What kind of fucking numpad do you have? <laughs> How high are you? How high is whoever made your fucking numpad? Like, not not a keyboard numpad, but like a fucking like typing a code, like for opening oh, a door. It goes. Well, yeah. Well, I've been operating on a keyboard numpad. Is what I thought. Okay. Whatever. Honey. Note for next time. It's fine. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Because you're you're the next step. Three, two, one, go. Bird. Snake. Butterfly. Lock. Hourglass. Gear. Uh, ladder. Doll. Doll. Butterfly. Snake. Mm -hmm. Wolf, wolf, bird, snake, snake, eight, eight up, lock, eight up. Oh, I didn't hear the up. Uh, it's fine. No, 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 it's not fine. Snake, well, it's off for me. Yeah, I know. Uh, so yours okay. was snake and mine was lock. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to start twisting the paper because it's going off the edge. <laughs> okay, you ready? I yes. believe it's your step that's next. Three, yes. two, one, go. Bird. Snake. Butterfly. Lock. Hourglass. Gear. Ladder. Doll. Butterfly. Snake. Wolf. Bird. Off, off. Turn off. <laughs> we have we have more time than it feels like we do. It's fine. Three, two, one, go. Bird, snake, butterfly, lock, hourglass, gear, uh, ladder, doll, butterfly, snake. Wolf, bird, snake, snake, lock. Gear. gear. Okay, I'll write down gear. That's fine. <laughs> okay, here we go, baby. One. Uh, so that means it's my step next, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, fuck me then. <laughs> Uh, actually, if it's my step, why don't I just run through it super quick and then, and then write down what the next step is? Okay. All right, give me, give me, <laughs> give me, give me a few seconds. I know what the next step is. Okay. All right. Three, two, it's only, it's only, one. Go. There's only two more. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Bird. Snake. Butterfly. Lock. Hourglass. Ear. Uh, ladder. Doll. Butterfly. Uh, snake. Wolf. Bird. Snake, lock, gear, snake, bird, escape. That's the word I have. Lock, lock. Okay. All right. Uh, so what do you have? I got a compass. Okay. And there's two positions marked: south okay. and southeast. South and southeast. Okay, gotcha. Okay, if we go up, we have a radio. We'll come back to that because that's definitely for one of the P.O. boxes. 
Okay. Thank uh, you. Character sheet again. <laughs> I'm gonna forget why I wrote all that shit down on the margin. <laughs> Going crazy. All right. What do you got? Uh. On your oh, radio. Okay, hold up. Yeah. Hold up. Okay. Um. First thing I got is. I think you have the first one. Three patients from the nursing home in Hillback have vanished in the middle of the night. The talented Amelie Raven has returned from Switzerland. She is determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's clocks. The police are looking for anyone who is in the vicinity of the nursing nursing home yesterday yesterday evening they are asking for assistance finding the miss missing patient the post office's water damage is repaired and all post boxes are ready to be used again ready to be used again there is already a letter in post box 34 okay the tragic nursing home incident has reopened old wounds in our village. We... We hope these disappearances won't remain unsolved like those five years ago. We have no news when train service will return to our... Village again. The station is now permanently closed. Um, Clarissa, Clarissa Shar, the generous benefactor of our new clock tower, died last month. At the opening ceremony next week, we will honor her memory. So, okay. 34. Yep, 34. I'll go over there. And tell me your positions again. Ooh, okay. Um, south and south, east, west, west, east, no east, southeast. South and southeast. Cool, open. Post office telegram. It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still fell short. Uh, too short to finish my invention, and now we will have to live... We will have the longest lives ever, longer than you can imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. Oh. All right, Zap, you ready for some Morse code? Okay. <laughs> what do you have now? Uh, well, so the message I just read to you. Yes. Okay. Long? Short? Short, long, long. Yeah, I, I guess that's it. There should be five more. Should be five more? Yeah, ten total. Uh, it feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still falls short. Too short ah. to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever. Longer than you can imagine when you've repeated the message. I'll guide your way. Repeat the message. Oh. So. Yep, got it. Okay, cool. Easy. I'm a genius. Um, okay, so it opened a little button. But. And. There's. Oh! What the fuck? This light keeps turning on and off. Wait, is it is it giving me Morse code now? You're getting Morse code instead of like Hold up. Oh wait. Your 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 light bulbs. My light bulbs outside. I think it's telling me which ones to turn on or off for you. Okay. So That's what I'm going to guess. Okay. So hit me. So try to find which one's the first one in your dial. Um, should we should we to the right of the castle gates? Okay, gotcha. Alright. See what happens. Off on off off. Fuck, wait. Remember they're in groups of three. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. That was more than. Oh no, no, that was less than like the total number of light bulbs.
All right, I'm just gonna tell you like what it does. Okay. Off, on, off, off. There's like a big pause for some reason. Uh, hmm. Well, usually big pauses mean that's where the start is. Well, no, because I just press the button for it to start again. It's not like it's on a continuous loop. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so there's three stages on the light bulb. Completely off, the wick is slightly lit, and then it's fully bright. Okay. Well, so my question is, I still need a code to get this dang bird. Okay. Um, three letters. letters yeah this like describe it uh i mean it's a cage it's got a metal bird in it and it's got um like a lock a, like three dials that i can spin okay you said uh, letters, not numbers. Yeah, letters. Letters? Ugh. The nice thing about it is that uh, it has almost every letter, which means I can just spell out whatever I want, which is quite entertaining. Right now it says suck. I don't see, like, any alphabets. Like, an anything around Ooh. here. Well, maybe we have to come back to it. Um, 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 um. You need alphabet letters, and I need to. You, you need to do. do something with like this light bulb. Yeah, presumably that's part of my puzzle because I feel like it wouldn't give you the solution to your own puzzle, especially with how the game's been going so far. Yeah. <sighs> I assume we're done in the Raven's Clock building. Oh, we can do the generator puzzle again. We can do it again? Just turn, just turn it on and off. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't think we have to. Well, can you figure something about that, out about that Morse code? Give me some light bulbs. Give you light Oh. Did I just tell you again? Lol, suck. Yeah, let's try it again. Alright. Press button. On. Off. Wait, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Push button. <laughs> <laughs> if I say on, that means the wick is slightly lit. Okay. Wait, no. Wait. Oh um, uh, the way, yeah. if I say it off, then it's slightly lit. If I and and if it's completely off, I'll just say pause. It okay. sounds backwards, but that's right. okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I think a pause just means that none of them are lit. I have to guess that. Right? Maybe. So let's try. Give me, give me. On. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Morse code is hard. <sighs> off is the first one. Slightly lit. It's off. And then it goes on. Eh. Off. On. Off. Off. Pause. Off. On. Pause. On. On. Pause. 
off on on pause uh, off fuck uh, um <laughs> wait how many does it give you before the pause does it give you six before the pause before the first pause let me see one two three four four five yeah, you get four before the first pause. Four before the first pause? That makes no goddamn sense. No. These are in groups of three. No. Mm -hmm. <sighs> four? What the fuck would four be in reference to? Um... <laughs> so it's off on off then what oh it's off on off yes off on off button. then what what's the fourth one one sec off on off off the fourth one is off yeah. So wait. So it's it's off then pause as in like the wick goes down but not out and then it goes out. Yes. So me saying off the wick is slightly lit but it's not bright. Okay. On is when it's fully bright. Pause is when there's nothing. Okay. Um pause. So I'm going to guess that that means both of these are off. I'm gonna guess. Okay. Uh, so get so start from the beginning. Give it to me again. Off, on, off, off, pause, off, on, pause, on, on, pause, off, on, uh, on, pause, off. Okay. You're you're crazy. You're an insane person. <laughs> So the thing I think I think there's something that we fundamentally don't understand about this because yeah. because there should not be four things and then a pause. Like your pauses are coming in the middle of sequences. Like there's no way there's no way that the game would give us like like I'm gesturing on my screen but like since all these all this shit comes in groups of 3, there's no way that it would like give you one for one light bulb and then a pause in the middle of the sequence, right? There's no way it would do that. So the only way I'm interpreting this is the fact that like I'm pretty sure a pause relates to um a pause relates to a whole group of lights, right? Um and I really wish I could see your screen so I could dunk on you. Make the bong again. Yes. <sighs> Try again, Zip. <laughs> Be diligent. Okay. Off, on, off, off, pause, off, on, oh, pause, on, pause. on, pause, uh, off. On, on, off. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So I have a question. Um, you seem to change speeds. Like the first couple were like off, on, off. Then like later you were like on, on. What does that mean? Maybe it's. Maybe there is a pause between those two. I don't know. You don't know, Zap. You're 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 the last piece of I this know, puzzle. It's a light ball. There's not much to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Germany, Jim Jim. I'm going back in the attic. Dakota, what should the bird say this time? <laughs> what should we put on the bird? It says oh. suck. It says we. <laughs> okay, but I didn't ask you. I asked Dakota. Yeah, H M M. Do that. Do L O L. We've got we've got a lot of. I do like nuck. W K E or W A K? We'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do a first E. W K E. I'm a ding dong. <laughs> W's are near the end of the alphabet. Much harder to scroll down than it is to scroll up. Hell yeah! All right, all right, Zap. Please, please continue to torture me with your Morse code. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, that's pretty good. <sighs> All right, Zap. Should I change the vocabulary a little? Uh, I mean, all I'm doing is toggling stuff on and off, so it works for me. All right. All right. I Zap, a thought has occurred to me. Yes. So the fourth the fourth one mm -hmm. you say it's off, right? Yeah, the lick the wick the wick is slightly lit. Okay. Um does it whenever it gets to the fourth one, does it last the same amount of time as the previous instructions? So does it go yeah. like off on off off pause or does it go like off on off off pause or something like that i believe it's all the same time okay same amount of time okay uh hit me well okay so if it's like slight if i say off are you lighting it or turn, keeping it off? I'm turning it off. Turning it off. And then when I say pause, what are you doing? Uh, I'm turning off a group of three lights. Okay. Because I'm going to assume that the pause is in reference to to a group of three. Um, have you seen anything that looks like I should light up a group of three? Like light up a group of three? Like the, the fucking candle goes psycho or something? Also, hi, Colin. No. How's it going? I think so. Ugh. All right. Try again. Try again. Off. On. Off. Off. Pause. Off. On. Pause. On. Pause. On. No, fuck. Mm. <laughs> okay, so the thing that's confusing me is that you'll go like, Okay. Off. You'll go like off on, and okay. then you'll and you'll wait like a full second, and then go pause. <laughs> and I don't understand what that means, Zap. I, I don't get it. I'm seeing what the next one is. If I don't see it, any... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. Take it from the top. Wait. Me not saying anything is a pause. I'm just saying the pause late because I'm now realizing, oh, it's oh a pause. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Oh. We're going to replay this game, and I'm going to get to this point, <laughs> and I'm going to be very cross with you. <laughs> Colin says, I have found an issue. Dakota says, not that I've noticed. And Colin says, here's the solution. And Mushi came in and said, I heard there was an issue in need of a solution. According to Colin, there's an issue. I hate light bulbs. <sighs> light bulbs are for nerds. 
give it to me. Also, I will say, when it's off, so the wick is slightly lit, Yeah. that lasts shorter than when it's on. So it's off, on, off. Mm. Off, on, off. Okay. Uh, okay. But then there's a pot. I don't get it. On the top. Uh, off, on, off, off, pause, off, on, pause, on, on, pause, off, on, 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 off. This doesn't make sense to me because I feel like they should be these. Sh these probably should be in groups of threes. Ab. I feel like I shouldn't be getting pauses in the middle of my group of three. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that like when you hit the button, there's not like there's not like an immediate pause or something like that? I don't think so. Boy. Is there anything else we can take the with? I don't think so, unless you got fucking a code for a mechanical bird. Because <laughs> all we got is mechanical bird with the telephone. Well, we already solved the telephone. P.O. boxes, which I've arranged in f some f funny shapes, but also the one with the actual note in it. And we already we already took care of that one. That one's done and over with. And then we've got fucking... We got the clocks place. And it's got the radio. And the little diddly do generator that we can fuck with. And I could redo that puzzle. But you know what? I don't feel like... I don't feel like making myself feel sad today. So, no, Zap. I'm pretty sure this is it. I hate to break it to you. Do you need to get out a pen and pencil? Pen and pen and pencil? Paper and pencil. <laughs> get out your pen and write on it with your favorite pencil. <laughs> you know what? Do some investigative work while I hit the BRB screen and go get some water. <laughs> Give me like five. Write it down. What? Five what? Five minutes, Dingleberry. I'm serious about writing it down.
How fair is your investigative journalism, Zap? I wrote it down. What have you discovered? So... A total of 15... I guess codes, I guess you can say. Um, I'm actually gonna say, say short and long. And then end pauses. Instead of on and off. So it's short, long, short, short, pause, short, long, pause, long, long, pause, short, long, long, pause. I mean, short. Give it to me again. Short, long, short, short, pause, short, long, pause, long, long, pause, short, long, long, pause, short. <laughs> You're reading it out and you can't do it. Okay, um... Short, long, short? At the start, yeah. Short, long, short, then what? Short, long, short, short. Pause. Short. Long. Pause. Long. Long. Pause, short, long, long, short. Short, long, short, then. Short. Then short, then. Long, pause, pause, pause. Long, pause, pause, pause? No, 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 no. No, no. That was a fuck up. You're reading off a piece of paper. Yes, I'm reading it. <laughs> uh, it's short, long, short, short, pause, then okay. short, then long, then pause. Then long, then long, then pause, then short, then long, then long, then short. Last three. Long, long, short. And short is on, right? I guess. I guess he said. When it, when it says long, that's when it, the bulb is completely lit. Okay. Um. Before, before off off on. What is what is that? Before no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work backwards. So the last three were off off on. What's before that? I know. Whenever I say long, I think that should be on. Because again, long means it's staying on. That's when the light bulb is lit. So it's on, on, off? I... See, I don't know what the slightly lit light bulb means. Short is the slight, slightly lit light, light bulb. So if it's off, then yes. We're, we're losing something in this game of telephones app. I know.
Want to start from the top, but I say on and off this time? Okay. Okay. Say on, off, and pause. Hold on. Off. On. Off. Okay. Off. Pause. Off. On. Pause. On. On. Pause. Off. On. On. Off. I was I was not close to being done. Um, let me try a different configuration. So, so off on off, then it's off pause. Yes. Okay. Then what? Off. On. Um, okay. Off. I mean done. Uh, I meant pause. Pause is after that. So it's off, on, pause. Off, on, then pause. Okay. Then what? Then on. Then on. Then pa pause. Yeah, pause. One, two, three. Then what? Then off. Then on. Then on. Then off. And that's it? That's it. Okay. So, we are misinterpreting something. Because that was not enough to finish to finish the whole circle. I was missing three. So, either... So, in that sequence, I counted every pause as three light bulbs, even if it means breaking up a group of three. Um, and I'm still missing three spaces. So, we're misinterpreting about, something about this. What about the pause is off? Um, wait. What if on means two or on? Um. Because in Morse code, it's off, on, off. Hmm. Short, long, short. I feel like we're overthinking this and doing it like wrong. You button. say you say we, but hey. I'm a but I'm a baby boy that needs to be fed the solution to this puzzle. I feel like I still need something from your end. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. This one is basically out of my hands. I don't think so. I feel like there's something. I'm telling you, man. I've tried. Listen, I can go back to Telephone House, but then I have to get this bird out of a cage. And thus far, we have not been given an indication of anything that could free the bird. In the horny house. There's a bunch of P.O. boxes, but we haven't been given an indication of any other sort of P.O. box to open up. Uh, I have already opened one, and it contained a letter, which contained the solution for whatever came before that zap. But, uh, then in the clock house. Or the cock house, if you will. Um, there was the radio, and I mean, I guess we could recheck the, the radio messages, but I really, I, I don't think that's what we're looking for but we can check it <gasps> and then below it there is the generator whose puzzle we can repeat for some reason and that's all the pieces I've got
I'm changing the bird's code. I lob. Sometimes they call me a sex haver. I feel that, dude. I feel that. You. I don't know. Dude probably doesn't apply to you. So I don't know what to say instead. I don't know, dog. is good. All right. You okay over there, Zap? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you okay, Zap? I don't know what to do. Double check your radio. Is there any sort of code you think that I could put in on the bird? Check. Where's the radio? Uh. <laughs> Mission success. Drink water. We'll put lob on the lock until we figure a solution. Ultimately, the solution to this puzzle. I appreciate that you're consistently considerate about gender things. It's very good. I, 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 I screw up a lot. Um, I, I think it helps that usually, usually the first time I screw up, I, I'll usually I'll consciously think about the thing I'm about to say, and I'll say like. And I'll like I'll I'll miss say in my head like like oh lob he's cool or something like that and I go like oh that's incorrect that's a thing that's a thing I need to fix and so there's there's a little bit of like consciousness to it that like every, I'm getting better at it now I only have to like correct myself before I say it uh, every once in a while because that's a thing I'm not I'm not super used to doing for you specifically. Um, it, I'm getting better about it now that we're talking more frequently, you know, with Final Fantasy X and stuff like that. Um, but 
uh, yeah, there, there's still some conscious effort on that part. I do my best. I know it's important for a lot of people. Um, is this the part where we can like concede victory and like uh, have ourselves a quick peek at like a guide or something? Mr. Morse. He says as he opens a second bag of pretzels. What's up, Zap? Communicate with me. My dear friend, Zappy G. All these guides suck. Finding nothing from like player two's point of view. I don't, I don't know what the fuck to do. Well, you're not player two, Zap. You're player one. Yeah, I know, but you, you you have to input the thing. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Here, let me have a look. Like the only Steam guide is, oh, how to beat this game with player one really fast. Because you can technically beat it if you know what to do. And when it gets to the Morse code thing, we're right, but like... The Morse code doesn't match with what my light bulb is. So I think you have some Morse code that needs to be, like, given to me. Mm. I, I hate this. This sucks.
Let's see. Oh, yeah, um, okay, so something that will help, Zap, is, um, uh, you need to give me the code for the raven. There's and no code! There's it, no numbers! It's on the telephone. What do you fuck you mean? It's, I, I said letters, not numbers. Where? It's it's on the telephone. It's one of the messages that you punched on the telephone. The Raven's name. Where? So it says this guide. Cole. It says Amelie said that the Cole. Raven's name was Cole. Birds on. Fuck the developers. Fuck this game. <laughs> oh, you this are sucks. you're so miffed all of a sudden. This sucks. got Morse code. Let me double check it. Okay. So I have some Morse code. I've got Morse code for four groups of three. So I think what it is is that we've misinterpreted it. Um, and you have half the Morse code needed to get inside the tower, and I have half the Morse code needed to get into the tower. Um, but I don't know who's to start with. Um... If we assume I start with mine, then it's off, on, off, on, 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 off, off, on, 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 off. And maybe... Okay, so what's your half? Off on, off off. Off on. On on. Off on, on off. 
on, on, off. Um, hmm. I'm going to just double check this. Okay, uh, I, I checked the solution and I'm fairly certain that we were not going to get this. So, the solution is is that in one of your rooms there should be a diagram. And there's like a mechanical raven on one half of a circle and um, yes. like your Morse code device on the left side. So, the solution yes. is is that I have to input my solution First. On, on the right side of the gate. And then we have to put in your solution on the left side of the gate. Like in chunks of three, in reverse. So, so if you go to the house, or the tower. Yes, I'm looking at the paper. Right, well I'm saying, you. Uh, so what I'm saying is, is I'm gonna give you the solution, go to the tower to start the solution. Hmm. Okay, so at the tower, uh, do on the right side, on the left side, on, on, off. On the right side, do off, on, off. Then to the right at the house, do on, on, on. Then do off, off, on. Then at the horn, do on, on, off. Then do off, on, off. Then at the clock's place, do off, off, on. Then do on, on, off. That should be it. Did you get it? No. Okay. Uh, do you want me to just take you from the top? So, from the tower, the group of three on the left side will be... Got it. Okay. My last memory of Lark was a suspicious frown on her face. At first she didn't want the clock, she said she was tired of my presence. held it out to her anyways because I needed her to be with me. I never told her that the time was stolen, only that the clock would let us be together forever. She disappeared into the clock, I still haven't found her. She closed her hand around the clock and I never saw her again.
Danish Film Institute. did it. Sort of. Actors. What now, Zap? Kill myself. Um... <laughs> uh... So I don't know. I don't know what to do next. Why would you put Morse code in a fucking puzzle game? You were here, didn't need it. Mm. That light bulb didn't mean shit. <laughs> That light bulb made no fucking sense. Well, it must have been a whole lot more rough than my fucking bird because my bird made noises and like it like did two distinct things to show like dots and dashes. I liked most what the, of it. What the, what the fuck does a dash mean? What does, what does a dot mean? What does um, a break mean? Why are there three different things for two on and off switches? What? Well, that's Why? The, well, so that's the thing is I, in the tiny bit that I read on the guide thing, it made no mention of like a break or anything like that. Um, like I said, mine seemed fairly obvious, but, um. 
I don't know. Um, fuck that. Oh shit. Everything was, was fine up until then. I. I think we just must have flubbed somewhere on that. No, that was I, shit. I think it was. Well, I don't think so. I think it was fine. I think it would have helped if uh, if we had figured out that we were working with two different halves of the Morse code. I mean, you were right. Um, I didn't that's think... I was, that's why I assumed from the beginning. I just didn't know where your, where your half was. Right. And I, I, I thought... I thought you were wrong because if if the brakes were a feature, and that meant that there was a I don't know what you'd call it, then that meant that your half sounded like it was almost the whole thing. And I thought maybe I had to get in the tower and find something to get you into the tower. Um But uh Uh but I think that track of my mind meant that I wasn't thinking about trying to direct you into more finding about the raven or anything like that. Um, but it is what it is. The one downside I, uh, I, I can... The one downside to this game as a whole um, is that since it is technically two completely different games. Um, since it's two completely different games that are, like, not connected by the internet or anything like that, then that meant that, like, almost every time I got a new piece of information in my game, it wasn't for me. It meant that that piece of information was for you so that you could do something with it and then give me a new piece of information. And, and so, like, it felt like it felt like whenever something happened in my game, it wasn't for me. It was for somebody else, and it was pretty easy to suss out uh, stuff like that. There were, I think, only a few times where that wasn't the case. Um, but that is like a disadvantage to the style that the game is undertaking. Um, is that it's pretty easy to suss out what stuff is for who. Um, whereas, like, in We Were There, um, the style sort of lends itself to describing the physicality of what's going on around you um, and trying to figure out pieces of a puzzle with that. And so it's two different styles. I, I do I do like the point-and-click style. Um, that was the thing I played the fuck out of on, like, Newgrounds and stuff like that. Loved me a good point-and-click game. Um, Yeah, that last puzzle was a bit of a doozy. I think if given enough time, we might have figured out uh, the two halves. We might have figured out the raven. But I'm not sure that we would have figured out, oh, chunk it into three and then put it in backwards on the left half. That was a bit of a stretch.
So what would you like to do? I don't Yeah, probably nothing. Okay. I do want to kill a little bit of time on stream, but I think I think I got an idea of something I can scrounge up. Do you want to stick around for commentary, or do you want to just break? What do you plan on doing? I plan on playing a children's game. I think I think I think we've hit the time. The time where I can officially say it's been a while since I played Spy Fox on live stream, and then we'll play some Spy Fox on live stream. All right. We're gonna fucking play a game for real gamers. We're gonna play Spy Fox in dry cereal, baby. How many Spy Fox games are there? There's like three. I've only I, I've only ever actually played the first one, but I own all of them, and one of these days. I should stream the other two and uh, show off just how embarrassingly like bad I am at games intended for babies who are six years old. <laughs> or playing Spy Fox, baby. Here it comes. There's five Spy Fox games. Well, there's like three tradition ones, I think, and then the other two are like weird mini game stuff. Dish. Well, here we go. I'm gonna need to turn this down. Spy Fox, come to me. What's the original one? Got milk? In Not cereal. anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire oh, world which one did will you be play without on the before? dairy milk. In dry no cereal. butter on toast. No ice cream. No cheddar cheese. And nothing but dry. Fuck. I Fuck. Fuck. I, I fucked it. I need to, um, we'll, we'll do it again. Except I need to, there's no like, there's no like volume in this game. Um, I don't think so. Yeah, there's no volume in this game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the sound mixer, go to the volume mixer, and I'm gonna turn this thing down to like, we're gonna turn it down to a nice graceful 60%. I'm gonna open up Scum VM because apparently that's what this is. Uh, remind me later. And we're gonna close this game. I don't know how to close this game. Alt F4. And we're going to relaunch Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. And then it will be... And we'll be slightly less loud. And we'll watch this opening again. <laughs> Got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. 
Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant, but I'm also a dumbass, so I'll, I'll drink milk by the gallon anyway. Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Also, oh yeah. I'm Would here for like spy fox. I am here for spy fox! No thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek play? It's delicious. Alright, if you insist. Enjoy! I love this. He just puts the fork in the fucking like meat and it just gives him a signal for some fucking reason. Ah, monkey penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday our spy operatives discovered the factory and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. I love his endless tidal Better wave of, like, cheese. puns. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. Really the look only like a available Chinese picture meal, of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Uh, Finding Utterly is your top uh, well, priority. Well, you'll, you'll find out about the cookie he in a second. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center. I might have to turn down this game again. And later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. I think you have to turn it up, actually. Any questions? You think so? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey pen. And actually, out. no, wait. My headphones are turned down. I think it's fine. Can, okay. If you can hear me, if you can hear me while she's talking, then I think we're good. Oh, yeah, baby. It's Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. A real game for gamers. All right. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. He didn't bring a parachute and he didn't wear his parachute pants, so now we gotta I find... We gotta find something to, to use to help us out of here. So that's where I left my anvil. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got the anvil. You know we got the anvil, Dakota. Dakota, which one do we grab? We have infinite time, Dakota, but we're falling. That ground sure seems to be getting closer. Ground's getting closer. Just sit on the okay. screen for long enough and the fox goes split. I'm grabbing the left one. Yeah. Alright, hell yeah. That'll do her. The whole thing is moot if it ain't got that poot. <laughs> Pardon me. That airline food will get you every time. That's certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. Oh, hmm. right. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. All I right. should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. So all we know about uh, what we need to do right now is that we're incredibly late. Five and... five five zero nine four five. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. And that we have an entrance code five, that sounds five, five, a lot zero, like nine, a uh, four, telephone five. number. I know where to go Door's already, locked. but uh, you know we might as well explore a little around a little bit. I love I love these games because you can click on fucking anything, and silly shit happens. And I also love hey, this guy. This guy is see great. My tattoo? Your he's got a, mother must be so proud. He's got a couple different ones, and there's one specific one that I'm looking for. I want to see if we can't find it. I love that they barely animated his pecs for some of these. Ahoy, matey. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. I want to see it. <laughs> this was pretty good. 
Come on. This ain't it. Where is it? Gimme. Not quite. Do love the pecs, though. They do be moving. Show me the tat. That ain't it. Do me one better. I did not need to see that. Do me another. Pretty good. But that's not what we're looking for. Do it again. There it is. We got it. You love to see it. We got a boat. The seas look calm today. That's good. I hate it when they're nervous. <laughs> I hate this fucking guy. I hate this fucking guy. He never takes his hands out of his pockets and he and he look at his smug, smarmy fucking face. Just look at him. Anyways, we're not supposed to be here yet. Let's go, uh... Let's go find some anything that looks suspiciously like a telephone. My god. What could this be? Alright, what's our code again, Fox? 555-0945. Five, 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 five. Alright, ring-a-ding-ding. Bye. -ding. Hello, Bicor five. Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. Alright. Down we go. All right, now we get one more long introductory cutscene, and then the game is mostly in our hands after that. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... a so we got money and, I sure and a toothbrush. Could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. I love that joke. It's a good one. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm. I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. All right. So we got a laser toothbrush. We got some money. We got a picture of a cow. It's a photograph of Mr. Utterly. And she it's said we should probably go to the dock. Mr. Utterly. What's, what's up? Penny, did I ever tell you about the time the demented Dr. Gemini created a clone of me? And I had to stop myself from beating myself up? I wish you'd get a hold of yourself and get going on this rescue mission. <laughs> <laughs> this game is great. Zap, I love this game. Oh, yeah. And then she immediately gives us a phone call. Watch is beeping. I forgot about that. Box to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Yeah, Remember, you can call me here, your spy watch, anytime <laughs> for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. Which is so funny to me, because I don't think you guys know anything, you really know anything about Humongous Entertainment games. And so Did that... You play Putt Putt? You played Putt Putt? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Fine. I'll concede. I'll take the L like, on that one. But I was like one. Right. Um. But I. But even in that case, it was still mostly a joke for me. And you know what? I'm okay with it. All right, toothbrush. We need to get in there. We can't get in there with like kung fu chops or anything, so we gotta use the laser. Bada bing. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. All right, in we go. Now that's a big side of beef. 
No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Well, um... This must be very embarrassing for you. Hang in there. Oh! What was that? Is that? His hands are out. Is that... <laughs> yeah, his hands are out of his pockets. Let's, let's just leave. See ya. I love that he does a sweet combat roll every time he comes into the threshold. Well, let's Maybe just let him down. Lever will help me get Mr. Utterly's rump roast down from there. I'm glad he said rump roast again. Well, I wonder if this is how they make beef jerky. <laughs> I love the sweet hmm, flips too. This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. So, the piranha pool seems to be getting hotter. So yeah, I can beef up the temperature if I really want to. It'll it'll make them hot and sweaty, but it doesn't really solve our problem. I don't know okay, if it has a special let's interaction. Try it again. No, no special interaction. Oh, well, that's all right. Sorry, Mr. Utterly. Being kidnapped sure has its ups and downs, doesn't it? All right, do some more sweet flips, and let's solve that this problem. That makes the piranha pool colder. Boosh, and a boosh, and a boosh, and a boosh, and a boosh. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. What if I keep going? <laughs> and eventually we'll hit ice. Hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. All right, sweet flips one more time. Let's get the boy down. And then we get our uh, and then we get our last like big story cutscene, and then we're good. This one's gonna take a bit. Why is the inside of the tank still? Watery. I have no idea. Thank you, Mr. Um. Well, I mean, that is how ice, generally speaking, works in real life. But yeah. now I need to get you to our mobile command center. They seem mostly fine, despite the fact that it's supposed to be extremely frigid. You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right, just calm down, Mr. Oh, we got two things. One of them, one of them is this thing he's about to do, and the other one is an optional. Uh, talk with Monkey Penny. I'm gonna do both of them. As I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. He's practicing for the pencil sharpening speed run. You have to stay if you haven't seen him, pencil sharpening speed is. runs are actually pretty funny. Hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole, My body whole body's a weapon. weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh You know, dairy the milk. capital. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Bye, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? 
Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out That's a way to get a look at the second time he's made a hard to swallow code. joke. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Okay. So now we get our boy Professor Quack all up in this biz. Um. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, God. Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. Okay. So this is the X-ray gum. This thing will let I'll us look at the cow and uh, cow, see what the code is, but we need that code at the very end of the game, so we're going to wait on grabbing this. And then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer X-ray gum for their patients who need X-rays. A duck needs his fiber. So instead, we're going to grab this. What and yes, we're going to listen to every explanation. Container, Professor Quack. This is a little gadget I call the spy putty. This one we're going to use pretty immediately. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. Those I love this. Duplicates I love this whole time. My idea. For uh, for this one gadget, they're just trying to like riff on silly putty. In particular, calling out the egg-shaped container and stuff. I didn't get the egg-shaped container until I actually got some stuff of silly putty on my own when I was like 19. <laughs> oh, you know. Also, whenever it shows the like, it appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, yeah. Professor Quack? Uh, oh, that's the, uh, capture, night like, vision freezes. shoe. One wow, of my most ingenious inventions. Oh no, no, it's it's supposed to freeze like that. There's no yeah, motion during this at all. In a dark place, all you do is yeah, no, strap the shoe onto your head, and I'm then just, you can I'm, you're looking at the, the dark. blueprint right now, right? Illuminate. Right, yeah. We don't. Oh, you don't get to see the yeah. blueprint at all. And it has Fuck. excellent arch support. Like it stops one frame before it actually like cuts to the blueprint. How fucking strange. The rest of this stuff it will be contextual for later in the game, but I'm gonna grab it right now just in case. We can still mm, hear everything. It looks like a it. delicious yeah. snack. May I, I eat this, Professor Quack? I kind of like. Uh, okay, that's the cheese and safe. I, I, I like kit. listening to this, so it'll be fine. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. Yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Okay. At the moment, we can carry one more gadget, and we're going to use that silly putty pretty immediately, and then we'll be able to grab everything else. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes and a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemy. Not I have no idea. Uh, heads I win, tails they There's, um, get that money. Um, there's actually, like, two voice actors for every character in like the Spy Fox series of Humongous Entertainment games. Because at some point... Uh, or maybe in e even in other Humongous Entertainment games. Because I know that at some point, like, a British company got the got the ability to, like, republish some of I these games. I like the word espionage. It sounds and like so, something um, you do after reading bad... But the, the, the weird thing about it is that when they republish them, you can actually get these games on, like, uh, iOS devices and stuff like that. But they're, like, redubbed by the British company, and so everyone sounds extremely British. It's, like, really silly. Uh, we'll come back to this in a second. Because I want to get told that I can't get on the boat before I do that. We're... Oh! Oh, baby! We get to go sailing this time. Or maybe we don't, actually. We'll find out. I hope we get to go sailing. 
I love the sailing bit. Uh, That's hey, bud. quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. Boss? Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? I wouldn't know, sir. I'm not paid to observe such things. Is the party up there formal or casual? Sir, may I make a formal request that you stop asking uh, me to make Fox's such voice casual remarks? Every game? Uh, it shouldn't have. I don't actually know. It did. Wow. <laughs> all right, I want to get on this boat, Weasel Man. Pardon me, Dry sir, cereal, but just where do you think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously <laughs> Jesus making Christ. a little joke. <laughs> No one but no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight without a gold-edged, wax-sealed, expensively been in embossed, cheese handwritten chase, invitation. It. And mm. do you have one of these, sir? Not as such. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I can gather information about the deck party with this. Hmm. I'm here to sign up for the shuffleboard class that starts in uh, about five minutes. So you better let me shuffle up the gangplank. Sir, this is a private party for only the most exclusive, important people on the island. And they don't play shuffleboard. Unfortunate. Hey, bud. How's it going? Excuse me. Are you the owner of this boat? I'm James T. Drydock, captain of the SS Winterprize. Pleased to meet you. My name's Fox. Bye, Fox. Is this rickety old boat in the So now we have furry worthy. James Bond worthy? talking see to worthy? furry. Of course she's sea worthy. Um, the question is not whether she's sea William worthy, Shatner. Lady, but rather whether you're worthy of the sea. I just I looked see. up uh, what characters in this game. Uh, Big Pig. Mr. Big Pig, yeah. Do you know who his voice actor is? No, I don't. I, I should, but I don't. John Patrick Laurie. John? Pa really? The sniper from TF2 and a lot of people from, from Dota. The husband of Ellen McLean is in this game? How did I not know this? Voice actor of Storm Spirit, Ancient Apparition, Doom, Earthshaker, Pudge, Shadow Fiend, Dark mm. Seer. Uh, <laughs> He's big, big. He's Interesting. Big, big. Fuck me. Is that an entire jar of trinkets? Yes, my Aunt Elisa pickles them every September. So we're going to use some of this money. We basically have infinite money, but we don't... So we have, like, infinite uses of money, but we don't have infinite money. Or, at the very least, Spy Fox won't buy infinite things. So one of the things we're going to buy is this jar of trinkets, which may or may not actually come in handy later. But it will also allow us to play games with Big, Mr. Big Pig. But for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. So we'll get to find that voice actor. There you go, sir. Why, thank you. And uh, so my suspicion has been confirmed. Since we have this little hat in the background, we can. We're, we're actually going to go sailing today. Uh, and I'll explain how I know yes, that in a little bit here. Was. There's no telling when I might need one of these hats. You'd better Bowser's give me 40 of them. 40. Bowser's but in this game? I only have one yeah. left. All right. Fuck me. I'll take one of them. Good. I hope you and your little hat will be happy together. I hope you and your little hat will be happy together. If you know who Walter Wireless is. Walter Wireless. Yes, uh, he'll come up. He'll come up later. Have a nice day. The fact that your pocket fits that massive jar is astounding. Well, we don't hang on to it for the whole game. So, you know, it's a, it's a temporary fit. So, uh, if we talk to this man about the weasel, because we're trying to figure out who who the hell is in, even in this party. I noticed that there was a party oh, Mr. going on down on that big ship at the dock. Yeah, the cow but that we I just talked to. you can only go oh, yeah, if you were Bowser. invited. He's that Bowser. <laughs> yeah. I am going. I love it. I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation? I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yes, I would love to look at it. Let's I'm have sure a look. you'll have a good time at the deck party. Yes, I intend to trip the light fantastic on the dance floor. So, you know, normally we want to copy this, keep my... but he is kind of just I standing can't there. I copy the invitation while he's looking right at me, so maybe I can do something to distract him. So let's get Shorty Small's 
give us a... Let's try to buy the cat. I'd like to purchase that fine stuffed kitty. All right, I'll get it for you. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Every once in a while during a cutscene, this ah. game will I'll give you control ah. of your mouse. And whenever it does something like ah. that, it's a pretty good indicator that Come there's on. something you need to do while that's going on. Ah. So while he's trying to get that for us, we're going to just splooge on this. <laughs> Oh, forget it. There's a lot of Valve voice actors. I can't tell you that. Really? That's actually fucking wild. Meow. Did you hear that? Meow. Meow. There it was again. Every time you try to buy something, we'll buy one more thing. What should we buy, Zap? What are the options? Uh, we got a cat. We got a bear. We got a wheel. We got a swordfish. We got, uh, like a fez. The wheel. The wheel. My life needs a little direction right now. I think I'll buy that steering wheel. Let me wrap that up for you. Every uh, every item that he can't reach in this fucking thing has this little bit where you get to faff around while he tries to get it. Uh, and when he's done, he'll give you a little. He'll give you an excuse as to why he can't get it. Oh, forget it. The excuse for the cat was that it was still alive. Sorry, the wheel the wheel's is not for sale. The You're wheel's not for sale. You're welcome to come here to look at it whenever Gee, you like. Thanks. <laughs> Love it. Then you can click on stuff. Zap! Look at how much clicking you can do in this game. It's crazy. Wow. Balls. Alright. And uh, a fun little this feature. Is, this is the future of Spy Fox video games. It really is. Um, and a feature that this game has that I haven't used up until this point because I liked all the animations and stuff. I can press the escape button to skip any little cutscene. So I can zip zoom down here and uh, grab these little cufflinks. We're going to hear one more explanation from Professor Quack. And then we're going to go uh, go on that well, boat Professor and see what's Quack? going on. Those are the suction cufflinks. I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across non-porous metal surfaces. The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spy. Mmm, that was a tasty one. All right. So now we've got four context-sensitive gadgets. We're going to be using, I think, one, maybe two during this gameplay. Oh, and the thing I wanted to explain is the reason why I know we're going to go sailing is because... Uh, is because... Uh, I don't. I believe um, this William Shatner sound alike guy, uh, who pilots the um, Winter Prize, I think is what this boat's called. Um, he's not always here, I believe. And if he's here, then usually, uh, usually that uh, that hat is also for sale in the rabbit's place. Uh, and the way these humongous entertainment games work is that every every time you boot up the game, it sort of rolls the dice on a couple things that the game wants you to complete as objectives, and then you have to and you have to complete. Uh, and so basically, the puzzles you have to solve will be slightly different each time, uh, you know, out of a certain pool of stuff, which is actually super cool. Uh, but the getting on the boat, for example, it will always be there. Not you again. How many times do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. Sheesh! The nerve of some people. You'd think they would. Yay! Let me see that. Signed, Russian Blue. Oh, sir, we are ever so honored to have you on board with us today. Please, feel free to come and go as you wish. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. What a weasel. What a weasel, indeed. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way in which I can kiss up some more, sir, I trust you will let me know. But of course. All right, up the stairs. All right. Oh, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let oh, Monkey Penny Big know Pig I'm here. Spy Fox uh, Big Pig is not here. Center. Please no. stand uh, by. I can actually go say hi to Big Pig right now if we want to. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the end. But I know, but I know that if I need to go around. sailing today, Good. then I also will have to go talk to Mr. Big Pig. So uh, we'll save that so one actually. Secret. How come we know about it? We're spies, Spy Fox. It's our job to know. And we are good at our jobs. Spy Fox out. It's true. Uh, Doug. 
Have you ever thought of recording an album? Yes. I'm in the final stages of negotiation with a major label to record a collection of Wagtime songs. It's just a matter of days until we wet the papers. All right, let's talk to this cat. Hello, you must be... Russian Blue, noted the socialite and attractive owner of the SS Deadweight. The name's Fox, Spy Fox. When I was a what kid, sort of business are you in, if I, I didn't ask? understand why her hands were pink. You know it like never Fox occurred to me that those were gloves. As if I'd reveal my business secrets to you. Secrets, eh? You're very elusive, Miss Blue. Of course I'm elusive. I'm a shrewd she's just wearing business blue skin. feline. Let's it just doesn't cover their, her arms. My <laughs> yeah, yeah. International trade. Okay, but you've stirred my curiosity. What sort of cargo does the SS Deadweight carry? That's why her carry? eyelids are sticking. That's for me to know, Mr. Fox. As you can see, the SS Deadweight is a luxury liner. Let me luxuriate in peace. I understand. All I right. can gather information about Russian Blue with this. Now we can talk to people about Russian Blue. Uh, I'm actually going to tab, and I'm going to turn the game down just a wee bit more so I can hear my friends out. Tiny bit. Cool. All right. Um, and I also happen to know that if we're going to deal with the boat, then I believe we're going to find ourselves a now frog that's suit. a frog suit. Ideal for any amphibious occasion. Take the suit. A frog suit like this might come in handy, especially considering the worldwide dairy crisis at hand. Actually, I'm mistaken. This white hat actually isn't for the puzzle I thought it was, but the frog being here does mean that we are going to go boating. I just forgot which puzzle I was doing. Um, let's see. I believe I have to go up here. Yeah, this is what the hat's for. Pardon Let's talk to me. this guy. I'm looking for the restroom. This is the bridge. The head's down below. Actually, I need to go pretty bad, too. But of course, I'm not allowed to leave my post. The shift's over at four bells and a hiccup. Then my replacement shows up. Oh, well, hang on tight. I'm sure your relief will come soon, one way or another. I can gather information about the sailor watchman on the SS Deadweight with this. All right, so now we can talk to people about Russian Blue, and we can talk to people about uh, this guy. Um, and the Russian Blue talk, I'm going to start because it takes a little bit, and I'm going to go grab some water while that's happening. Um, go down here, and then talk to Monkey Penny about Russian Blue. And that should take a little bit, so I'm gonna grab some water while that's running. Monkey Penny, what can you tell me about this Russian blue I met over on the SS Deadweight? I'm glad you asked. Direct your attention to the screen. Here's what the Spy Corps database has on her. Name, Russian Blue. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Occupation, owner and operator of the SS Deadweight. Head of Public Relations for NOG, close associate of William the Kid, and one bad kitty. Known felonies? Indecent tangoing. Acquitted. Dancing with intent to tango? Acquitted. J tangoing? Acquitted. Tangoing out of season? Acquitted. Comments. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She's not only very dangerous, but she might be the perfect source of information regarding Kid's whereabouts. I think you should check out that ocean liner more. See if it has a map that shows the sea route of the SS Deadweight. It might give us a clue as to the whereabouts of William the Kid's secret fortress. You know, there's something fishy about that ocean liner. I think I should check it out some more. There just might be a map on it that could lead us straight to William the Kid's secret fortress. Good idea, Fox. I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> All right, so now we know we're looking for something there. I wonder if Monkey Penny knows anything about the guy, though. Probably not. What's with this character up on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? What's he guarding, anyway? He's probably another island thug guarding something suspicious. I suggest you try to get a closer look. Hmm. Well. She doesn't know much about him. 
Uh, I don't think this guy knows anything about it, but it, I don't think it's ever occurred to me to try to ask him. Let's see what he knows. Do you know anything about that sailor on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He guards that place as if his life depends on it. Oh, that guy's a weird one, all right. He's a regular at the Cantina's Happy Hour. Hmm. Okay. Regular at the Cantina's Happy Hour. Ooh. Hi, honey. Welcome to the Cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like, for example, sugar, you just let me know, all right? Thanks, B. <laughs> all right. Uh, considering we got chicken knuckles here and some secret sauce and beet bliss, um, uh, I also know that another puzzle will come up that chicken requires this. Chicken knuckles to go. Those look interesting. Honey, they're so bad. We're required by law to serve them to go. After you eat some, you have to go. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Can I acquire some chicken knuckles? Why don't you give me one order of chicken knuckles to go? It's your funeral, honey. And we'll take the chicken knuckles and we'll put on some secret sauce. It says secret sauce. Do May I dare be drowsiness you and alligators? Me, spy guy. This won't come up for ever. It'll come up later. Um, and that's Mr. Big Pig back there, but we won't we won't touch him yet. Not yet. And we'll double check with her. What do you know about, about this, this guy? sailor from the SS Deadweight? Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from work. What time is that? He shows up here 27 minutes after the start of happy hour. 27 minutes after the start of happy hour. Happy hour starts at 10, so 10.27. All we gotta do is... I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna hit, liberally use the escape key to speed run up here. Uh, all we gotta do is... Interesting. This seems to be some sort of a high-tech uh, alarm clock. This could get be this helpful. timekeeper in order. After all, they say timing is everything. 10, 24, and babouche. This must be an audio alarm clock. I wonder if there's a snooze button. She didn't say 24, did she? 27. I, 27. I just said, I just said it, and then immediately forgot it. 10, 27. Uh, bada bing. That's it. That's the sound the sailor told me indicates the end of his shift. All right, so we know his shift is supposed to be over now. Didn't you hear the clock? What are you still doing here? I know, I heard it. I could leave now if only my replacement was here. Unless you're the guy. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am your replacement. Consider yourself replaced. How can you be my relief if you're not wearing a sailor hat? Right. What was I thinking? And so we gotta put on our hat. Okay, you can go now. Thank you. Out of my way. Coming through. When you I love go, how short every character is in this go. game. All right, and that means we can go over here and take a That's sneak peek curious. at this. The SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out in the middle of the ocean. This particular spot could no, require he wouldn't some let us. further investigation. Let's see. Not even looking it this looks way. like the SS Deadweight went to 20 degrees latitude, 160 degrees longitude. All right, 20, 160. Remember it. All right, so uh, we got the thing we came for. Let's get the heck out of here. So we know that we need to go out in the ocean. And this guy seems to be the only guy who might be able to do that. So, so Captain, do you think you could take me out for a little boat ride? I'd love to, but there's just one problem. I can't go anywhere without my lucky charm. Your lucky charm? I, matey. <coughs> because that there... Is the sea I the final it. frontier? And my voyages on the SS Winterprise, on a 25-year mission to seek out new sea life and new this civilization. This guy also voices people I went to really? No raccoon yeah. has gone before. But like who? My lucky charm. 
It would Sven, be a way Sven, to risky. I Sven, cannot Sven, chance it. Dazzle, Weaver, Bane, Sanke. Oh, he's that guy? Captain Holy Bride shit! And his lucky charm with this. Weaver Bane, man. I love I love that voice actor. I, I actually think I have an autographed uh, piece of equipment of his on uh, Dota. That's fun. Um, so we know that he lost his lucky charm. And what we got to do is we got to go say hi to Mr. Big Pig, the other Dota 2 voice actor. And the sniper. Greeting. Uh -huh. Interested in a little game of go fish, Mr. Fox. Spy Fox. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time, and you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play for some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar of trinkets. So, <laughs> instead of betting I, money, I like a fox he, he, to play he uh, with a pig who likes to play Go Fish. He bets trinkets. trinkets. Place your trinkets and yeah, I can hear it now that you pointed started. it out. That's wild to me. Uh, little did I know, uh, little did, little did young me know that I would be playing so cards against like playing for trinkets, Elder eh? Titan, oh, or not right. Elder Titan. I'm game. Here's uh, my Pudge. trinket. Let's play. <laughs> That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. All right. So, for, uh, so for... So for reasons, I think I have to complete this first game. Now I can talk um, to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. But I can hit him up in a conversation about some people. So how do I see learn what he knows about, Russian, about Blue? Russian Blue? <laughs> she is a tough customer, little fox. You're not the only one interested in finding out what she carries out to sea on the SS Deadweight. Clandestine cargo, eh? Spend more time on the SS Deadweight. <laughs> if you're really as bold as you seem, little fox. Talk to Blue about the unexplained cargo. Hmm. All right. And what do you know about the the sailor? What do you know about Captain Drydock and his missing lucky charm? Poor <laughs> sap lost it in a particularly tense game of Go Fish. Oh, really? So this is the lucky charm then? Hmm. Yes. And I won't give it up easily. And you know that Go Fish is my game. All right. So let's finish playing this round of cards. Got any queens? What a fun game this is. We'll we'll play we'll play we'll play this first one out Got and then I'm gonna mash escape yeah. through the second one. Go fish, sir. So we get to we get Got to appreciate seven. the uh, nice try, but you need to go fish. The I don't know soundscape Got and design of three? a wonderful game of cards. Got Six. any sixes? Ace. Got any aces? That's a big pig. What a fun game this is. It's a large lead. Got any nines? No, sir. Go fish. All right. Go fish. Got any queens? No. Got any fives? No. He's doing it to me. Got any sevens? I thought you said you were good at this game. At Go one point fish. in my life, like when I was six. Uh, how delightful. Um, Got any five. Go fish. Uh, I wouldn't know what he was going to ask for just like on the way that he was delivering his voice line. You would know? I would know. I used to, like when I was like six. Got any jacks? <laughs> Go fish. Hmm. Six. Got any queens? Nope. Go fish. I'm going to double check that this guy Got hasn't any grabbed any sixes. sixes. Not a one, sir. Go fish. Mm. Got any threes? Got my threes. Fuck. Hmm. Got any tens? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Because every time he says got any, it's slightly different. Got any number. twos? Go fish, Mr. Fox. What do you I've mean? I've always been lucky ha! when it comes to go fish. Um, jacks? Got any jacks? No, sir. Go I fish. can't believe there's no jacks in play at this point. Fuck me. I oh, yeah. love this game. <laughs> King. This game is easy. Nice try, but you need to go fish. There's a there's a clip of me actually freaking out while playing this game, Got and I love that clip to death. Nines? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Ooh. Got any fours? Got any kings? This go guy fish. is bleeding me dry. Got eight? any eights? You got any eights in play? <laughs> go fish. What do you mean no eights? 
Hello? How high are you? Got any nines? Okay. Nine. Got any fours? Yeah, I knew he was gonna ask for fours, fuck. I must yeah, apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. Mm -hmm. Mm, got any ten? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Got any threes? Nice try, Dare but you. you need to go fish. <sighs> yeah. Got any jacks? Go fish, sir. Game sucks. Should ask for stuff got that I already have. Aces. Like that. Got any Knew threes? It. Nope. Go fish. <sighs> we're gonna do gambler sauce and we're gonna ask for twos. Got any twos? All right. You like? You love to see it. Got sevens. any sevens? I'll just take those off your hand. Wow. That's one set of cards <laughs> taken care of. This suits me just fine. Got any eights? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Okay. Got any aces? I thought you said you were good at this game. <laughs> Go fish. Got any fives? Lay it on me. Uh, two is gambler fa gambler's twos? fallacy. No, sir. Go fish. Come on. He's mm, he's nine, holding on to the kings. Ten? I know nope. he is. Go fish. Give me. Give me the kings. Got any kings? I'll just take those off That's not kings. all of them. That's bad. Uh, eight. It's been a hot minute eight. since eight. That's one. It's been a hot minute since Jack as well. What? Got any jacks? <laughs> Go fish. Okay. This oh, suits yeah, baby. me just fine. Got any aces? Go fish. Got any jacks? Go fish, Mr. Fox. They're all at the bottom. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any fives? Game sucks. And that makes a set, sir. We, we've got a pretty decent lead, though. Mm, got any tens? Nice try. I love but the. You need to go fish. I love the, the way that they stack up the cards, so it's a little bit easier to tell if you're ahead or behind. Got any eight? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any jacks? All right. All right. Fine. Take the jack. Got any aces? Nice try, but you need to go fish. Give me Got the tens. Any tens? Not even all of them. Got any eights? A card. Thank you so much. All right, I guess I'll just ask for Got eights any again. Eights. I'm out of stuff. Got any jacks? He's, he's cheated. He's marked the cards. Got any three. I thought you said you were good at this game. Go fish. Ah, how delightful. That gives me a suit, sir. I... Well, if it gave him a suit, then that means he didn't draw an 8 or a 10, which Got means it doesn't matter which one I ask him for. Go fish, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Another jack! Nine. <laughs> nice try, but you need to go fish. I think, I think at this point that means he has three, because, I don't know. I think Got it means he has three. Jack? If he has just two, I'm going to be very sad. I'll just take those off your hand. Oh, yeah, baby. That's one set of cards taken care of. Uh, eight. Got Fuck any it. Who cares? Eight. No, sir. Go fish. Mm, got any tens? I don't like this. <laughs> I hope you are not easily That's discouraged, racist. sir. Got any threes? Nice try, okay. but you need he to go fish. My ace. Got right, any give me, give me. aces? I'll just take those right, off your hand. another suit. I've always been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any eight? He might have drawn an eight. Go fish. Nope. Got any nines? Go fish. Ah, how delightful. Yes, <laughs> I'm good. He's going to ask for threes. Got any threes? Yeah. Which means the last card in the deck is eights. A match made in heaven. Which he's going to draw and then ask for. A draw. It looks like neither one of us wins this round, okay. Mr. Big Pig. All right. So it ended up being a draw. But Why don't we really I'm going to ask him for... And play the, for Captain Drydock's lucky charm. The lucky Very charm. Well, but this time, instead of going through all the the heartache of of thinking, um, I'm just gonna got press one. stuff and, to take and I'm gonna got press any. escape. Got. Got. Any. Got. Got. 
And hopefully we'll win the game. Do. Got any? Got. Got any? Got. 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 Go. Got any? Got. Got any? Got any? Got. 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 Any. Got. Any. Got. Any. Got. Any. Got, Got. I love. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Game is easy. Got. Got. Go. Got. Not. Got any? Got. 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 Got any? Got any? Got. Nope. Got not. Uh. Got. Sixty-nine. Got. Zip. Got. Got. He's winning, Got. but not by much. Got. Got it. Okay. I I'll stand corrected. I've. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Speed run. All right, we got the lucky charm. Please play anything but another tango. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that before. What? Uh, the song ended, and a guy oh. in the background just said, "Please play anything other than another tango." <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, bud, how have your lucky charm back? So, Captain Drydock. I just had an interesting little game of go fish with that Mr. Big Pig at the cantina. And you'll never guess what happened. He cheated and ended up winning your lucky charm. No, actually, he lost and I won this. <coughs> My lucky charm, you found it, yes. Do you know what this means? I can go out on the sea again. The curse is lifted, thank you. Thank you. Charmed, I'm sure. Listen, uh, matey, if you <laughs> ever need to use the SS Winter Prize, just let me know. I'll take you anywhere you need to go. All right. I'm going to double check the uh, latitude and longitude that we're supposed to be looking for. 2160. And uh, let's go out on the sea. You can't resist the call of the sea, can you? Even when it calls, collect. Let me grab my map, and you can show me where you'd like to go. Which should be right here, 2160. Uh, I love this map, by the way. This map is nutty and actually doesn't show anything other than just water. So it's not that great of a map. But, you know, you know how it is. Hmm, this looks interesting. All right, let's get going. Okay, here we go. I'll just keep the map here in case we need it later. Interesting. A pool of white water. I've never huh. seen. There's usually like a transition like and like some boat movingness that usually happens, but I guess we just blinked here. Wait a minute. It's milk, dairy milk, and none too fresh, I might add. Hmm. It sounds just like a seashell out here. I ask myself. If I were an evil, twisted, misguided, egotistical supervillain, where would I put my secret fortress? I ask myself, in all my years at sea, I thought I had seen everything. This white water is the creme de la creme. I'm going to actually move one screen over to the right and see how the dialogue changes. The nice thing about uh, being out on sea like this is that there's is that they animated uh, a couple different screens for like moving back and forth and stuff like that. It's kind of nice. I like it. Let's see what they say. The Mediterranean is so friendly. It always seems to be waving. Captain's log, sea day, the day after yesterday. We've been at sea for a while now. Still no sign of what we're looking for, but still, we look. Oh, by the way, your seat cushion turns into a personal flotation device. I have a feeling that any moment now, I'm going to do something really predictable. I'll keep my extraordinarily sharp eyes open for clues so I can find Kid's secret fortress. Bad guys are mean. You could theoretically just like skim this whole fucking place uh, until you find the milk, but that could take a while, even with the little escape trick. So we're gonna dive down in here, or not? Okay. Uh, good job, Roman. You did it. All right. 
we're gonna use the frog suit on the water. We're gonna use the frog suit on me. There we go. Found it. Down. All right. Underwater splendor of the Mediterranean. Aha! That pipe must be where all the milk is coming from. What a terrible waste. I have to put a stop to this. All right. Uh, if we swim over to the left here... Uh, Wouldn't you know it? We find ourselves... On me looking robotic fish. Some guards. So if we were to try to move, then... I'm on you. You're trespassing in private water. You're mine, intruder. Guess again, tin tuna. We'll get intercepted. So we gotta do something about that. Have a bit of frogophobia. Oh well, a fishing line like this could come in handy. So we'll grab onto this. We'll move over to the next screen. I can't go now. It looks like the other guard is coming back. And with a small degree of timing, we gotta get out of here. Here goes. It's the dreaded Rear Admiral, also known as Spy Maneuver Number Forty One. Oh. 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 Almost hooked the big one. That fisherman cool. will have quite a fish story to tell. And uh, there is another hook. So another hook means another guy out of the way. I'll just skip that cutscene. Fishermen don't even question what they caught. Yeah, that's a good question. I think question. to be the bearer of an underwater wedgie, but I've run out of options. Excuse me. Whoa, Gad! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. I learned that one at spy camp. Ah, those were the days. All right, now they're out of the way, which means we can click on fish. Wow. That means we can go to the left. Let's see here. A box of old airplane fuses. I'd hate to refuse a find like this. Airplane fuses and a steel door. Uh-oh, this steel door looks pretty thick. And I already used my laser toothbrush. I don't yep. have to find another way in. Unfortunately, we don't have ourselves a laser toothbrush, but we do have this sort of to be an conspicuous, jet. I like, hope it wasn't rocket looking food. thing. So, uh, let's take a look at that. The seat's missing. Maybe the pilot used it as a flotation device. Here's the jet's fuse panel. And there are some... Using that, those fuses, fuses that we just, find, that we just found means where? that uh, we can actually fix this thing up a bit. Let's have ourselves a look. A little bit of basic puzzling. I'll bet this fuse won't refuse to work in this fuse box. Hmm. I'm sure that's fine. I do like the music in this little section here. It's fun. There you go. All 
right? And one more. Not that one. Not that one either. All right. And now that everything's all hooked up hunky-dory the way we want it to be, uh, the targeting system's turned on, and this thing seems to be blinking. So, let's not leaving a key under the welcome mat. I guess that guided missile was misguided. It's a little misguided. Of course, I planned that. I love a dramatic pause before blowing up giant steel doors leading to secret fortresses. Yeah, all right, nice. And now we're in. Bada bing, bada boom. I think I've discovered the entrance to William the Kid's secret fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Hello, monkey. What's up? Spy Fox. If I've told you once, I've told you a million times. It's Monkey Penny. Sorry. What do you want? I'm busy saving the world right now. Our informant, Mata Harry, has some important information for you. Where can I find Mata Harry? I'm not sure. All she said is that she's underwater and you'll treasure her disguise. Okay. I'll check it out. Spy Fox out. Hmm. Welcome to William the Kid's Secret uh, Volcano If we try to go portrait, through this uh, Please insert door. the electronic code box and answer today's passcode, please. Then... Hmm. The spy wanted to counter the remark with intelligence? That is not a valid hmm. response. Have a nice day. Answering that code phrase looks like it might end up being punishing. Then we're going to need to find ourselves a code phrase, and we're also going to need to figure out what today's date is. Um... So we, we have an informant, actually, who might be able to help us with this sort of thing. Um, but she's underwater and will treasure her disguise, and that could mean anywhere. Uh, it could take us weeks to find out where she is. Who knows where she could be? The boat will sink at midnight. It looks like it already sunk to me. That's not the correct code phrase. I know, but it's the truth. Agent Fox, it's good to be working with She could be anywhere. Mata Harry, what a fortunate surprise. What invaluable information nugget do you have for me? I intercepted this nectar of the goats thing, but I don't know what it is. It looks like it fits into some larger component. Can you use it? Are you kidding? I'll treasure this. Well, I gotta go. Go fishing, Agent Fox. Thanks for always sticking your neck out for me, Mata. You're a gem. All right. Um... There is another place that she can end up being. Let's uh, swim on out of here because we need to figure out what today's date is. Let's go home. How about if we head back now? I hope you're not seasick, Fox. Okay, here we go. Get out of here. All right. Thanks for letting me leave my frog suit on your boat, Captain Drydock. Uh, the other place that she can show up is out of this pipe. Don't ask me about the physicality of that one. I don't get it. All right, and I also happen to know that we can find the we can find today's date. Oh, over here, August seventeenth. So now that we got the component and we got August seventeenth, let's try. We can. Darn the torpedo. We can zoom on over here, dive down, talk to this guy, and uh, swim on over. I, f I immediately Welcome. forgot. Is it August seventeenth? Yes. Okay. Let's snap this thing into place. It looks like the electronic code box plugs into the panel of this voice-activated security system. Welcome to William the Kid's secret volcano fortress. Oh, fuck. August 17th. I didn't find out what today's date is. Uh, what the, what the day is, but... Uh, considering we only have seven guesses, let's just push this button a couple times, huh? The dry cleaner disdained the clothes he cleaned. That is not a valid response. Huh. I don't have the correct date. I need to know today's date. It's not quite as easy as it sounds, considering all the time zones I fly through. The heart specialist worked in vain. That is not a valid response. 
the pillow maker liked to lay down on the job. That is not a valid response. The veterinarian signed the petition. That is not a valid response. The quarterback had a tendency to be a little offensive. This is correct. You may now enter the fortress at will. Have an even better day. Thank you. What I a want a pun-based security box. system. All right. Welcome to the bad guy zone. I'd better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's secret fortress. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. Smooth as sandpaper pajamas. I just got into Kid's secret fortress. Excellent. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon of destruction. I'm in there like swimwear. Spy Fox, out. I'm in there like swimwear. So, hey, we found ourselves a locker room. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room for kids' evil minions. Minions. Interesting. Like a locker room. Yeah, it's like some sort of locker room. There's this little poster I wonder what here. this diagram is for. It looks strangely significant. A yellow oh. jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. I guess no one we'll would just recognize me in one of these. Snag this uniform. Why not? What else do we got here? Where's my homework? Homework? Good. We got this. Got this. One of my favorite details about this little place actually is this is uh, actually a little fast travel spot. Uh, you'll note that all these lights seem to be in relative working order. Uh, whenever we, uh, hit this locker, though... It's a secret passageway! What a clever secret entrance! William the Kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants! So... Uh, we better leave this door if we wanted to, in case I need to get back in here later. we could come back all the way out here. Um, the 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 funny thing about this about that fast travel point though, and the reason why I pointed it out was because now when we go back down there, and you might have noticed it when we went up, um, but the light the light fixture that sometimes um, a computer game is just a computer game. Okay. Uh, the light fixture in that room that was connected to the little elevator is now actually broken. Uh, which I think is a really fun little detail. One. And two, uh, has the very interesting implication that this secret uh, entrance has never been used before. And I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, let's go. Uh, that thing is not only giving me the eye, it gave me the boot. Perhaps if I was wearing some kind of uniform, I could get by. This is one of the sillier puzzles in the game. Even, uh, even whenever you're like six, that they just put the solution to this one. One screen over. Uh oh, someone's coming. I'd better hide. In we go. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Ms. Blue. Take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, your Imperial Goatness. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. 
All right, so now we know we're looking for a punch card. And uh, another puzzle that's two screen that whose solution is two screens away. This uh, looks exactly there's that diagram. like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. And if I remember correctly, this might be it. This is not it. Which I means think I remember the diagram well enough to get these levers in the same position. Which means it should be this, I believe. Uh, yep, that looks fine to me. Um, bum 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 bum. Up we go. Sweet. All right. Uh, this big thing in the middle. Hot butter. There's that's our milky weapon of destruction. Uh, which, if you remember, is the thing that's gonna to take uh, people around make goat milk fortress. good. Get some nugs. I think Dakota's stream is a little behind. Is this anything? I don't think so. Keep going. Well, there's something. Oh. Well, what did you look at that? Those guards are in ready position. I wonder what they're guarding. Those guards are in ready position. I Escape. Let's go through. What up? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Oh, hi. I'm from the accounting office. I was asked to count all the offices. I need to get into that room and make sure it's really an office. If you're from the accounting office, you know perfectly well that this is William the Kid's office. No one but the Grand Goathead himself is allowed in there. Oh, right. Of course. How silly of me. That's the office that really counts. Sorry to bother you. I love it. I need to get into Kid's office and take a look around. And uh, if you all remember, we actually have Here's a gadget. where I keep my spy gadgets. Thanks for interrupting me, fucking fuck. Uh, we actually have a gadget for just such an occasion. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any others. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. Bada bing. Folks, I'm on a mission. You must be one dedicated accountant. Oh wow, I can't believe that the voice line changed because I said hi to her earlier, instead of just throwing the nickel. I know she says something different if you just throw it. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> um, let's see. I I think my favorite part about that cutscene is the fact that Ting, that like when the nickel tinged, like it actually just said the word Ting. Seriously, you've got to let us go. I just know our supervisor is going to bring this up in our annual review. I'm afraid you'll be hanging out there for a while. And I could listen to that voice all day. Hello? I don't think that nickel was worth all this. Some net income. Uh, gang? We seem to be stuck. My left cheek itches, and I can't reach it! Uh, we appear to be stuck. I, I, I don't think... Uh, hmm. Well, shit. Do I can't seem to do anything. Next week. Uh huh. I don't know what to do in this case. 
Uh, if I was playing on my CD version, I could save and load again, or something like that. Uh, uh but I'm Here's not. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Uh-huh. Somebody ate garlic for lunch? It's two in the morning, and I was very close to beating Spy Fox. Um, we're gonna report to plan speed. And we're gonna play the game again. Except this time, I'm gonna make some very extra ju judicial use of the escape button. We'll see how fast we can get this done. Five five zero nine four five. How fortunate that monkey pay. Hello. Skip. We got all of our stuff. Out we go. My spy. Skip. Move. Skip. Going. Hi, Zap. What? It. It. Our game hit a bit of an issue, and uh, we have to play the game again. What? Yeah, I don't know what happened. What happened? Uh, well, it wouldn't let me click on anything. And because I'm not playing the original, like, uh... Since I'm not playing, like, the original CD version, I could not, uh... Uh, like, save and load the game. So, uh, we're just gonna... We're just gonna speedrun through the game real quick. And get back to where we were. I oh, yeah. Sorry, I have to buy something. Uh, give me the I can't. Oh, right. I can't skip that cutscene because... I simply... Because I have to do this then. Put over here, go back in, grab the cufflinks, go out, go down, give the man the thing. Not Put I up. I the frog suit. December 17th. Now that's a frog December suit. 17th. Give me the suit. Up we go. Uh, actually, wait, I need to talk to him Pardon first. Me. Down here, down here, over here. Hi. And oh, we're not doing the the nugs. What's the trophy for? That's oh. my cockadoodle foo trophy. I took. Oh, but she knows cockadoodle foo. Oh, I love this one. Until I punched his stuffing out. Okay, this will be good. Uh, I, I I love this one too. Here's where my. Uh, so we'll ask what her about this. What do you know this. about this sailor from the SS Deadweight? Oh, that Sal comes in every day straight from work. What time is that? He shows up here 21 minutes after the start of happy hour. 21 minutes after the start of happy hour. 527. 21. I don't know why I said 27. Interest. Boosh. That's it. All right. Uh, put on the hat. Uh, okay, you. That's curious. Uh, the SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out of the middle of the ocean. This particular. All right, get out of here. Unfortunately, this means that I need to play Go Fish again. <laughs> because of this the table. Because of this game started. configuration. Uh, jar of trinkets. Boosh. Uh, I'm gonna actually see if I can skip. Now I can talk to Mr. Uh, the first game about some of the folks I've met on by the talking island. to him about this guy. Boosh. Okay, thing. I... Let's get up. Let's get set back down. on the table, and we'll get started. Yeah. Okay. Speed Got run. Got. Got. Okay. Got. We're apparently very good at go fish all of a sudden. I, Got. I need to take a. Got. Go. Got 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got no. We're gaming. Got a no. Got what? <laughs> no. Got it. Got a go. Oh, yeah. Got it. We're playing video games. Got. Got. I've got. Go. 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 No. Uh, suddenly we're not playing video games anymore. Got to beat the big pig. I gotta beat him. 
Got any? Got I got no. Zip got 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 I Ah We gotta do it again. Have you Oh Got I need to take Got an Got a Got Got a Got This is the only got. part uh, I, I like the flavor of this particular puzzle, quote unquote. We have to beat the man in a game of Go Fish. I like it a lot, um, but boy howdy, is it uh, every once in a while a little particularly frustrating. Mad because bad. Mad because bad. because bad. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got what? Got it. I need to take. Nope. Give me two. Not a seven. Got a I'm I'm sitting in the danger zone. You see how many threes? Got like like three like three. What the fuck? <laughs> got, I've got, 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 I guess this. Woo, go, I guess this go, does mean that I have a pretty good chance go, of just uh, go, drawing go, a fourth go, of a thing. Go, but it does mean it, that anytime he calls for something, I get fucked. I need to take a. Got Got it. He's combo. Got, I mean, dude. I, I, Got got no. Okay, he won. He beat me. We gotta do it again. Got it. Got what? Got no. Got Got it. Got Got it. Got it. Not a Got Got Uh God sixty nine. Goof. Got it. Not he took her sixty nine. Got Goof. Got no. I wonder if I wonder if you could develop like a hack for this game that would that would tell you what cards it has. Got it. Because the game clearly has to keep track of something like that. Got it. Nope. That, that would be fun. I need to take. Got it. Got it. Oh uh, come on. He's now he's fucking Shrek super slamming me, and I still have the same threes problem. Got it. Got it. Nope. Got it. Got it. This game sucks. That. Got it. Got it. Got I got that. Suck us the luck. Suck us the luck. What? Got no. Got it. Not. Got I'll zip. Got. Got go. Got I've. I win. I gotta do it again. One more time. He went full strike two on me, dude. <laughs> Whoa, baby! More playing Go Fish at Goof. two in the morning, baby. Goof. This is this is the kind of great content Goof. you get on Blue the Demon. I I I need. Got it. Got. Not. This guy's robbing Goof. me. What? You guys see this? Got it. 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 Got what? Goop. Got it. Go. Got it. Got it. Nice. That. Oh yeah, baby. We got our first team. No. Got first it. blood has been drawn. Got, got it. Got ah, nice. sevens. He took the seven. Not a. Got it. Got it. Got. <sighs> he's ahead of me. Got it. Go fish. Ah, he's so ahead of me. Got it. Got I. Four? No. Go. Two? Nope. No. I. Got Eight? No. Got. Got. Ten? That's what. Yes. Got. 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 Get him ready. Got. Got. I love. Goof. I. Oh yeah. We're a winner. All right. I completely forgot where the milk is, so we gotta find where the milk is again. Let's see. 85 or 3085. Cool. Got it. Zap, I need you to remember uh, December 17th. Already did. What's today's day? I've all. That's a good point. Oh. Mm. Red alert! The milk is beginning to. Let's go. About... We, we can force it. Yeah, we can force it, but it is. I don't remember how to figure out what day it is. Brute force it. Yeah, we'll brute force it. December 17th. 
Apparently it's December. I oh. Gotta go back down. I that's not what I meant by down. Give me the frog. Frog. Okay, grab one of these. Put over here. Actually, if you played this say, three hours ago, it is December seventeenth. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, you're right. What? <laughs> I I didn't know today was was December seventeenth. Fuses. Oh, we gotta do this puzzle again. Here's the jet's fuse panel. Boosh. These right. spare fuses must fit in. This fuse just. Fucking puzzle for children. Him for not leaving a key under the welcome mat. I spot. Welcomed. Okay. I didn't actually hear where Mata Harry was, but we're gonna try here. Okay, Mata Harry was there. Well. Uh, get the thing. Push. Uh, December. Seventeenth. Is it Monday? Uh, and I want to actually hear these things. The college student professed a desire to teach. That is not a valid response. Huh. I don't have the correct. The math teacher was a bit nonplussed by his students' arithmetic. That is mm. not a valid response. I love these things. <laughs> I love these the things. These are great. The photographer was negative about the film he developed. That is not a valid <laughs> response. <laughs> the band leader was instrumental in organizing the parade. That is not a valid response. Less good, but pretty good. The nuclear physicist made glowing remarks about the reactor. That is not a valid response. All right, I didn't expect him to applaud nuclear physicist. The photographer was negative about the film he developed. That is not a valid response. So it must be Sunday. The pillow maker liked to lay down on the job. This is correct. You may now right. enter the fortress at will. These games have so much character. God, thank the, you. What a the polite fact, voice box. The fact that I have to do a different puzzle this time is also just like super fun. I spy fox. All right, skip that. Up Hint here, grab the. Where's my homework? Homework. <laughs> is there not a jumpsuit in this time? Oh, it's over here. A yellow jumpsuit. Huh. I'll bet I the official forgot it could be over here. Uniform. Yeah, you, uh, you learn something every day. No one would recognize me in one of these. See, it uh, it's all it's all part of God's plan. If I hadn't if the game hadn't like freaked out and kicked me out, then uh, I would have never found that jumpsuit spot. Crazy. Uh we put on the jumpsuit. Uh, I think this looks I think that's right. Up, up down. Yep. Yeah, okay. Up we go. Another thing. Kaboosh. Go into the nog room. Nog. They're not here this time. So since I've actually skipped some of the dialogue, I don't actually know what I'm looking for precisely, but I'll know the puzzle when I see it. Oh, this. Uh. 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 How, how about? How about we just say? F fuck. X. Uh. X. D. <laughs> it's not an X. Don't worry about it. And my favorite part about it is it puts it low res in the in the overworld. It's so good. This is my favorite feature. It's in it's in Freddy Fish too. It's good. <sighs> All right. Now that we've defaced his office. Uh, oh, is this the hamster room? Oh, I love this cutscene. This cutscene is great. This is quite a long corridor. Jump. 
That's the whole cutscene. Oh, pardon me. I didn't know anyone was in here. <laughs> what are you doing in here? This room has restricted access. I'm just taking a look around. Routine inspection. Okay. So diode. These diodes. Don't touch them. The shock of one of those diodes would fry you into a smoking pile of charcoal briquettes. And everybody knows that boxes don't smoke. Right. So one of these diodes is actually the answer uh, to to disarming this thing, but I don't actually know which one. I could go in here and grab one, but since I don't know which one it is, I'm going to actually have to schmoove all the way back home, go down here. Uh, do I have a space for a gadget? I'll just... Oh, I need the shoe. The shoe is the only one I can't, I can't get rid of. So we'll get rid of the nickel. It's our nickel, but we don't need it. I to. think I'll just... Return the nickel. Uh, then we grab the x-ray gum. Boosh. And... Boosh. Now, because we know from before that he swallowed uh, need to the the gum thing that tells me what I need to grab. Four stomachs of yours. So, this isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to. Oh. Uh, Professor Quack, your right. X-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. We get to swipe this around and see stuff. My favorite part is that he does have color commentary for finding certain stuff. And there's also sections of his body, uh, you know, marked as like meatloaf and stuff. Steak roast. Sloppy Joes. I found the note. There it is. Once I find that diode, I can look for that control panel. It goes it's a square on top and a square on William the bottom. William the Kid's milky weapon of destruction will be disarmed. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. His ticker looks like it needs winding. It looks like oh. I need to find... Double red square. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go back in here, yump down here, out here, up here, and now we're gonna go instead to the Nog room, we're gonna go, that's the wrong one, out of here. We're gonna go in here, the power room. Interesting, all these hyperactive gerbils must be the power source of kids' evil machinery. So I never clicked on it before, but this room, as you can tell by the label, will lead us straight into the room with the diodes. Um, but the door doesn't open from that side. So what we got to do is we got to do this. Whoop. And since all the gerbils don't have anything to work for, what? the power stops. The power went out. Those greedy gerbils and their carrots drive me batty. Now I have to walk all the way down that long corridor. This lever seems to be a gerbil on and off switch. My favorite part about it is that it turns off the... Well, one, this little lock is actually disengaged now, which is fun. Um, but also, it seems to have cut off the power exclusively to that one place. If we stay here long enough, he'll show up. Hey, buddy, stop turning off the power. I'm sick and tired of your cute little tricks. Sorry about that. My, he's a nervous little fellow. So all we have to That's do, not going to do me any all we have to do is immediately not follow his instructions. I figure these gerbils could use a rest. And uh, go in the room. Now that he's coming here to try and fix the power. Uh, it's a little dark, so we got to use our night vision shoe. For I'll have to ask Quack. Come over here. With the power and off, it's safe to snatch a diode. But which one do I need? And so we're gonna grab this one. No, all right. Now that's a diode. Get out of that screen and then Somebody move this the way. Power back on. I should take this silly looking shoe off before someone sees me. And my f and another fun part about this is this cutscene gets gets to be changed. That's all it is. Just a fun little thing that they put in. All right. There must be a shorter way to get to that radio room. So, 
since we have the correct diode, we have to go down here. This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should All let right. Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Spy Fox out. All right. So now that we have the correct diode, supposedly, all we gotta I do is pop that sucker in. Right diode. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction, but I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. All right. So he's going to escape and we need to find that ascot and well, you could kind of see the little the little tram system behind him. If we come up here and we go over here, hey, look at that. We found it. That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the now, crown. This is... I better hurry. Now, this point is where that chicken knuckles would have come in. Um, there would have been a that gator pit. Is one big chicken. There would have been a uh, gator pit that we would have had to feed some some of those uh, chicken knuckles to. Um, but sadly, we have to deal with this guy instead. Uh, and I love this puzzle specifically. Let's, let's just get through. Hello there, puny puppy-like creature. You are probably intimidated by my rippling muscles. Do you happen to know the ways of a cock-a-doodle-foo warrior? Cock-a-doodle-foo, you say? It sounds familiar. I can use this to gather information about cock-a-doodle-foo and that funky chicken. We actually just trying to get past him again? Pardon me, sir, but I need to get by you. I'm afraid you'll have to go through me to get by me. But let me warn you right now, Foxy Loxy. I, Hong Kong Doodle, have a 30 Hong Kong Doodle? black belt in Cockadoodle Foo. Really? Well then, 
Let me warn you that nothing can stop my getting through that door. Then let's see how you defend yourself against the dancing egg beater. All right, so I'm a master of everything except this cockadoodle foo. All right, so we, if we remember from way back, I hope. Um, we know a cockadoodle foo master. Although I do actually want to talk to a few people and see what they have to say on the matter. Don't know anything about that, but do you want to see my tattoo? <laughs> All right, you crazy kid. Uh, what do you know about cockadoodle foo? Do you sell cockadoodle foo handbooks? There's not much call for romantic literature around here. Try talking to Bee Bear at the cantina. She's the bouncer. Talking to Bee Bear. Uh, what do you guys have to say on the matter? Because this one actually doesn't usually come up for me. Monkey Penny, have you ever heard of cockadoodle foo? Sure. The most famous expert in cockadoodle foo was known as the math. She bear. Nobody knows what has happened to her, though. Huh. Interesting. We're getting lore. So you've never heard any talk of cockadoodle foo here on the island, unless it relates to the engineering of my gadgets. I have no reason to pay attention to such silliness. Silly fox. Go ask the folks in town. Well, that's mostly what I wanted. I would spend more time on it, but. Uh, we're running a little late as it is, B, so talk to me. Do B. you know anything about cockadoodle foo? Well, I dabbled in a professional career as a cockadoodle foo fighter for a few years. A cockadoodle foo I fighter? Came All right. From a book. A book? Yeah, you can have it if you're interested. It's all too violent for me now. I've moved to a more spiritual phase of life. <laughs> Thanks, B. You may have just saved the planet from this dairy drought. You're a superstar. All right. Now that we've got ourselves our manual, uh, that particular solution, there's always a final puzzle. Uh, and that particular solution is the most cumbersome one because it, it's the only one that you can't, as far as I remember, it's the only one you can't prepare for ahead of time if you can see the signs. That king-sized clucker hasn't budged. All right. So, we get out our manual. All right, my little furball. And all we gotta do now is uh, use some strats. Rice candy on for size. So, he's gonna show us unwrapping rice candy. This cockadoodle food book from B should help me defeat that funky chicken. Okay, let me see. All right. So we just gotta find the one that looks like the thing that he was doing, which will be that. But the fact that there's like pages and pages and pages of stuff that he could say. Is really fun. Uh, and I'll have him show us one more move. We'll do the wrong one. Like a doodle foo Once. looks like a piece of cake. Now that I see the instruction manual, this fancy counter move should work on my overinflated opponent. All right, doodle. I'm going to counter that with paper, rock, scissors. Uh oh, I think I better try another defense. We're gonna we're gonna see one more from this guy, and then we'll and then we'll shmoo him. All right, on. my little furball. Now try the cinnamon twist on for size. Oh, that's okay, good. Okay, let me see. I need to select a counterattack. It's the cinnamon twist. Ow. Ah, cool. I'm glad he reads them out, actually. That's fun. I hope this one works. All right, Doodle. I'm going to counter that with the triple ventuzler. <laughs> What? What happened? Didn't think I could beat you, huh? Well, I'd stay and toy with you longer, but it looks like you're all tied up. Wait a minute! How about two out of three falls? 
No, let's make it best of seven. You can't leave me like this. Kaka toodaloo. And then he'll go sneak around that corner again for some reason. And then we'll walk across. We'll get on through. The kidnapped dairy cows. Mm. I've found them. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox. And I'll All right. rescue you shortly. So, Continue treading uh, milk, something I'll be that's right actually there. kind of interesting about this game that actually ah. took me way too long to figure out. Like, I like, like way after I was ah. outside the like intended age group for this game, like when I was like like 15 16 or something like that and i was revisiting this only only then did i realize that uh this game actually has two endings fun fact uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this crank and it's gonna give us a cutscene, and then i'll try to explain things as i go so if you remember all the way back at the beginning of the game when we had to grab that silly putty and um uh, take that card. That part where I told you that some cutscenes will allow you mouse control during them. Uh, you, if you don't do anything during this cutscene, uh, you get the you get like the normal ending. And I can't believe Spy Fox has multiple endings, by the way. Um, but the moment when this blimp moves, you can actually click on the screen. Not so fast, kid. The last so you need to click on this car, and you can actually run over here, get in the car, and you know, you don't have to do just one thing. You have to do one thing and another thing. So while we're speeding off along this cliffside, think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. We need to click on something. Yeah, like that. This'll eject me and then he'll right do the rest. Kids blimp. Yeah, yeah. Now All right, that cool. An entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. And then Bye we Fox have one more call to go through. Center. Please stand by. Bye, Fox. Have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox, you can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 10 degrees north, 8 degrees east. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. All right. 10 north, 8 east. Easy peasy, and we can check it whenever we want to. So uh, this section is actually really, really, really short uh, and quite easy. Um, and and unlike the rest of the game, it doesn't change at all, which is a little disappointing, but Looks that's like all right. someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. So in this first room, there isn't much for us here, except for that uh, <gasps> that bread and this little... Uh, I don't know what we call it, electric wrench. electric wrench. screwdriver set. Screwdriver. This yeah. could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. And that's all we need from here. So now all we got to do is jump into this airplane. This reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. That and, uh, must be the entrance to the front. See if we can't get to the front. Blimp. You know, just put the plane in reverse real quick, and then, yeah, there we go. Fuck that plane, I guess. This must be the control room for kids' diabolical getaway blimp. So, uh, let's have a look at this robot. A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. All right, and so now that we've got the price, precise location, this thing will flash. Now I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into Evil Villain Jail. So 
since we lost our airplane, I can't go back down there. I ditched the plane. We can't go back down there, this but will take me to the back uh, of the blimp. We do actually have a little, uh, a little zip line that will take us back if we need to, but uh, we don't actually need to. Just wanted to show that off. And now that we've set up the uh, set up the coordinates, uh, all we got to do is open this sucker up. I don't know why Aha, you have to select the right must be here. the I right screwdriver thing. Uh, it seems like a, jail. just like a little bit of an arbitrary puzzle, but whatever. That it is what trick. it is. Hmm, what an interesting device! It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps cafeteria. And then all we gotta do is put in the toast. A piece of rye bread might do the trick. And then push down the lever. And that's how the ejection system works in this blimp, apparently. My trap is set. I better hurry. All right. And then the game's over. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy Fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my dairy domination plan. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Go? What do you mean by that? Crash Bandicoot! Too bad there was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his goat byproducts in evil villain jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Spy fox! You'll pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. <sighs> and uh, here's Walter Wireless, by the way. It took us this long to get to him, but we got to him. Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already... He shows up in greater capacities than some other puzzles. heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice, I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why? If you don't put him in jail, you get the small cookie of Congressional mission, Justice. Really? Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? And we get some really fancy schmancy cutscenes. Or uh, credits. The fun little animations. I should play more children's games on this live stream. I love me some children's games. I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Let's see those voice actors. Paper animation? Paper animation? Fuck me. Programming. Sound effects programming. Storyboard artists. Lead click point artist. Ah, oh, click point artist? Oh, that's fun. Click point artists. Background layouts. Dialogue editing. 
Yeah, some of that dialogue does sound like it got a bit chopped, but not all of it. Most of it just sounds fine. QA lead, lead tester. This particular animation is a reference to another puzzle that you can do in this game. Uh, which actually also involves Walter Wireless. Uh, sometimes Russian Blue needs to go somewhere, and you need to track her down. So you grab Walter Wireless, and you do the tango with her, and then sneak the bug into her, uh, into her purse. It's fun. I like that one a lot. Featuring the voice of Bob Zenk as Spy Fox. Additional voice talent by Mike Shapiro, Shelley Reynolds, Kathy Levin, John Lowry, Dex Manley, Ken Boynton, Gina Nagy, David Scully, Scott Burns. David Scully, man. Ugh. I wish I I wish I'd known that David Scully was here ages ago. We'd like to thank the residents of Acidophilus for their kindness and generosity. No animals were mistreated or harmed in any way during the production of Spy Fox and Dry Cereal, although quite a few were milked. This game is dedicated to the memory of Brett Barrett. Yeah, baby. The good fucking game. Uh, quit. Yes. All right. Well, that was a live stream and a half. And I had to play for Spy Fox twice. This game has Steam trading cards? That's wild. All right. So, thanks everybody for watching my four and a half hour live stream of one puzzle game, one point and click puzzle game, and one point and click puzzle game meant for kids. Um. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I still don't know what I'm going to do by the time stream time comes, I'm going to play some more kids' games. Um, We'll see what happens. Uh, but I got to go to bed. It's late. It's late. Uh, so, good night, everybody. Have a day. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later. Mm-hmm.